Fucking say your fucking social security. No, number they're they're asking me for my social. I'm trying to. I'm don't give out your. What, what are you doing? Don't don't give out your fucking social, bro. What are you fucking doing? Fuck you. I'm not trying to sign up for college. What? <laughs> You're going back to college? Yes, pendejo. Did you not see the news? Biden's giving away ten thousand dollars if you're in college. So I'm fucking trying to sign up for just some bullshit class, pendeja. Oh my god. You're just gonna fucking use the fucking money? Yeah, yo, 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 yo. This? yo you can go hey, for free? Do you have any idea how much weed you can buy with 10 grand, pendeja? They're not gonna give you the money? Yeah, 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 the taxpayers are. Oh, yeah! Ha-ha! Oh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, look, man, they're not gonna give you the money. What do you they're mean? gonna pardon the money that you owe already. Yeah, pardon it this way, motherfucker. Ah, oh, yeah. Pardon. Hey, what kind of class do you think I should take? I don't want some bullshit. Where was the class where you you paint naked chicks? Get fucking the the basics of econ economics, please, because then you're gonna learn about what you're doing right now. Hey, fuck you, I don't want to know bullshit no math. I want to see tits in college. I know there's tits. All right, don't be dumb. Yeah, I guess put that as a fucking you know second class. I don't know, man. I mean, but take economics. Anyways, hey, cheers! Welcome to the Wokest Show on YouTube, motherfuckers! Gomer, cheers! <sighs> cheers, guys. Jesus. Can someone tell this guy not to fucking sign up for college right now? Nah, don't worry. Biden's gonna pay for it. Oh, yeah! Oh, I, yeah. I should have done this I when Obama know, was in charge. <laughs> Obama, my ass. Um, I love them there. They're the same people. They're the fucking same, okay? Hey, um, can. Guess what? I was waiting for you to respond. Uh, uh, I said, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We yeah. got three subscribers. <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah, okay. we are 369. Oh, <laughs> the coolest number in the world, Kike. Yeah, yeah. We're... Three and 69. Yeah, yeah. Three and a 69. Not bad. Yeah. What? Well, <laughs> when we ever hit 500, uh, I, I fucked up. I don't need to show the shirts and shit. I'm already in the comments. Uh, we ever if we ever hit 500 subscribers, five of you mall fuckers uh, are gonna get uh, woke as fuck shirts uh, uh, and shit. Uh, Gomer and uh, Indy and Rocco uh, Satanist already got shirts uh, when we hit 300. Uh, so if you want shirts, you better tell your friends and your moms and your aunts and all your hunt your hot cousins and all that shit and tell them to subscribe. We like we like older women here except for DK. He likes little girls. It's all right. It's all right. We're going to change. No, it. I don't like little change. girls. I like change. girls my age, not the ones that look like you, dude. They got to be older than me. What are you talking about? Dumbass. You're pretty old to me, man. Fuck you. I, I haven't shaved. I haven't shaved. All right. I look like a 21 year old when I shave. I'll tell you, man. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, now yeah. we're getting there, bro. We're already getting fucking there. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. We yeah, age. Yeah, we're late bloomers, bro. Let's start with the comments from these motherfuckers. You know how it is. Uh, Let's go with uh, the comments, and we're going to start. Hey, I got to tell you all, last time that uh, I found every day, we were using Discord, and that fucking bullshit takes up all my, my virtual memory. Of course, I don't know what that means. Kike just called it that. And you, I don't know. Fuck you, Kike. Uh, I don't know where to buy more virtual memory, but fuck you, Discord. You and it fucked it, up but, our program, yeah. program, and we didn't, we didn't properly finish the comments last time. Uh, so we're finishing them now. So we're going to start with Rocco Fuck My Life, the, the biggest Satanist on our channel. This motherfucker, he doesn't believe in Christ uh, or, or nothing. Uh, but anyways, uh, on the Britney, uh, <laughs> on the Britney Spears is a bad mom comment uh, uh, uh -huh. video. He says, I never met my dad. And sometimes when I look in the mirror, I see woke slash racist Latino who grew up in Mexico. Maybe Kike is my real father. Oh, yeah. Cheers. <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> Rocco, something tells me you didn't grow up in Mexico. You're just talking shit out your uh, ass. Uh, buddy, I'm sorry. I'm not your dad, bro. I'm yeah, sorry, yeah, bro. Yeah. Kiki didn't have sex till last year. That was the first time he lost his virginity. <laughs> Right, he barely lost his virginity, Rocco. There's no way he followed you. I have a better I chance to, know to how follow old you. you are and uh, who your mom is, but I'm sorry, no, bro. I don't think so, bro. Yeah, like, nah. He can only only fucks flat chested no ass bitches. So unless your mom is like flat chested no ass, yeah, now you're insulting. You got no Come chance, on, man. No, no, no. I'm insulting the women you go out with, Kiki, not you. Right? I'm not. Big difference. Right. It's a big difference. Ah. <laughs> hey, cheers, Rocco. You Satanist. Hey, Rocco. Cheers, bro. Yo, 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 yo. If, if it makes it any better, I barely knew my dad. So it's cool. Don't worry about it. Hey, we It'll all okay. barely knew our dad. I tried every time the motherfucker talked, I just I blocked him out of my head. I'm like, motherfucker, you better talk to me English because I don't give a shit what you're saying right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. And that guy's like, ¿Qué onda con este pendejo? <laughs> Fuck you, dad. I don't know what you said, <laughs> Mexican. Anyways, let's move on, Kike. <laughs> Uh, Gomer Kyle, ah, hey. oh, Gomer, we're reading yeah. your, hey, Gomer, we're reading your comment, ah, <laughs> while you're there, hey, underscore subscribers, he just said, loving the live show, guys, ah, oh, yeah, 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 I'm liking it too, you know, because it's raw, and we don't give a fuck about nothing or no one, break it, yeah. you don't care about me, apparently, yeah, fuck you, I mean, I'm woke as fuck, but I'm not that woke, like, yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, 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 uh, all right, all right, let's go. So who is next? Wacky Moe. Well, we need to cheers to Gomer. Gomer, cheers. Cheers, Gomer. Let me get a Miller. Gomer said that his dad may be y'all, that his dad may be our dad because he fucked women all around Texas and he doesn't claim his other <laughs> kids. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Cheers, Gomer. <laughs> hey, cheers, bro. <laughs> uh, oh, my God. Right, right. Wacky Mo. Oh shit, that's a new guy, Kike. He says Wacky Mo. He on the bolero, bolero fucking review that we did, Kike. Oh, uh, that movie, that fucking that porno movie. Yeah, yeah, the porn that we reviewed, we we watched, <laughs> we watched together the first time that I've ever watched porn with another person, and Kike too. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, he says, how about a, how about reviewing the Laura? Gemser Flick, Emmanuel, Queen of Sados, from 1980. Hey, Kike, you know what? Emmanuel, Queen of Sados? Write it down, Kike. Write it down. Uh, this might be, like, perverted. I mean, even his name, Wacky Mole, sounds perverted. So, yeah, Kike, write it down. <laughs> ah, hey, Wacky Mole. Uh, Wacky Mole. Watch Mo. this movie. Don't jack off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to research it, okay? Look, if you don't know the <laughs> retrospect. Retrospect, it's got to be fucking uh, been in theaters. It got to be in theaters and it got to be a box office flop, which means it costs more money than and then it made for some shit. What, explain it, Kike. Uh, basically, it's movies that um, didn't make their budget. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't make their budget. As simple as that. Yeah, Kike, Kike, yeah, Kike knows how to simplify stuff because he knows math and he simplifies numbers to the lowest denominator. <laughs> Right, Kike, explain all that shit, because I don't know none of that. Uh, don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, cheers, wacky <laughs> mole, you perverted son of a bitch. Thank you for commenting. Yeah, yeah we might do it. You know, we can do like, hey, what if we do like, hey, what do you vote for? No, nah, Kike, because we're going to be doing all these Hindi movies, this sh these movies that are like motherfuckers know about. This shit. And those are really bad. Like from India? Oh, the Hindis, you know, the ones that don't come out in theater. Independent movies. Indie movies. I'm I'm, sh dude, I'm saying it the way the, 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 the woke-ass motherfuckers say it. Hindis. No, you idiot. I mean, uh, anyways. Yeah, thank you, Wacky Mo. Yeah, yeah. Gomer, Gomer Kyle says that that movie is uh, probably in porn stores, and it wasn't in the theaters. <laughs> the, the one that the Wacky Mo is talking about. Hey, in we're that not, case, we can't we're just going to download it and watch it ourselves. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> by, by ourselves, by ourselves. I ain't going to watch it with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. That's what I'm saying. Jesus Christ. All right. Okay. Why are you drinking a fucking uh, 20 ounce from the fucking store? Because uh, sometimes I buy a fucking one of these and I, you know, put ice on it and then just get a tall boy and put it inside. Well, not a tall boy specifically. It's one of those that have 8% and it's like iced tea. So I'm getting fucked up. 
Hey, fuck you. Don't don't be started with that bullshit. You you you're over there drinking like power and you're lying about drinking. You better be I'm spoken. not lying about drinking, you dumbass. I drink more than you. Fuck you. How dare you? Fuck you. You want to go? I'll pass out before you do, motherfucker. <laughs> take out the tequila. Take out Pedro. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Then we're never gonna finish the show. <laughs> All right, all right. All right, all right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Indie Phantom. He'll show up later. He'll show up later. He says, wait, uh, there's going to be an amazing Spider-Man 3 with Andrew Garfield. The more I think about it, his movies were actually better than the new ones. They were campier. I did like the hilarious bit with Paul Giamatti as the rhino. The new ones are woker. Cheers. Oh, Andrew Garfield, <laughs> he didn't give it. You know, the only thing that sucked about Andrew Garfield's movies was the villains. Mm -hmm. The designs, and uh, I, mean, I like the, the way he the was designs, very the like, he was very like Spider Man like in like in the cartoons. You know, he did a lot of puns and he was funny and saying shit that it was funny. He did a lot of that, so I like that. But to be quite honest, the new one is the new ones with um, what's his name? I forgot his name. But Tom the Holland. new kid is Tom Holland. Everyone says that. Look, my 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 chick and my sister. They are in love with Toby Maguire because, oh, yeah, of course. because to yeah. them, like, like, so is my cousins. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, they yeah, love yeah, yeah. They're in love with Toby Maguire. And up until they saw this new kid, up until they saw Tom Holland, they would always say, yeah. Toby's my Spider Man. Toby's the only Spider Man I know. And that's the way mm -hmm. they would. My chick was like that all the time. And we saw No yeah. Way Home. And she goes, I got to say, now that I saw all three of them in the same movie, Tom Holland is my Spider Man. That's what my yeah. chick said. And I was all like, it's just, you know what? He's a he, he's a good kid. You know what? You, you know what say, he did? You said, did you say she's in high school, you pervert? No, 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 no. He's he's <laughs> he's old enough, Kiki. He's in his twenties, all right? I, I, I know, I know. I allow it. I allow it. As long as he's he's old. <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> no, you know what Tom Holland did? If you notice, he took the best of uh Toby and the best of Andrew and he combined them to be like his character. If you think about it, the way he acts. He's funny when he's in the Spider-Man suit. You oh, know? no, he is. He is. And Definitely. he plays like a good kid. He's playing a good kid. Because Andrew Garfield yeah. was not a good kid. He was a rebel. No, he, yeah, yeah. His he was Spider -Man, a teenager. He his, was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Emo. He was emo. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he plays a good kid. but then, And then he plays it like the way the other guy plays it when he's Spider-Man. And then Toby's a complete nerd. Like yeah. super yeah, a good fucking kid. like. The straight arrow oh, fucking boy, like, boy scout. Autistic. <laughs> He pretty much played it like he was Superman, like a Boy Scout. Toby yeah, did play. Yeah, he played it yeah. really nice, really, really like yeah. innocent. He could have been a Christian. He could have come out and gone to church and prayed in the movie and shit. It would have yeah. made sense. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheers, Indie well, Phantom. Unless you got something else to say about it. Mm -hmm. I mean, everyone has their pick. I don't. I don't give a fuck. You like what I you like, and I like what I like. Yeah. Yeah. Eh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, cheers, Gomer. I saw that you, well, the ones that you like, he says he likes Garfield better. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll see who the next Spider-Man will be, because eventually we're going to get another Spider-Man. The motherfuckers getting old. They, they get old too fast. But luckily, Tom Holland is going to look like a kid until he's like 40. They're already giving him like, you know, you know that steroids make you bigger? Like they're doing the opposite. Oh, uh, yeah, they chopped his balls off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 that's what they used to do back in the day, Kike. And there's a rumor that that's why Michael Jackson did to to stay singing like that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. What do they call those people that they chop their balls off? I forgot. But but there's a name for that shit, dude. Yeah, know. it's fucked up. It's called uh, transvestites. Anyways, oh yeah, uh, Gomer Kyle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, uh, oh, Kike, we got a fellow Mexican, Edgar, oh. Edgar Ramirez. Give me the DJ horn. Hey. Ah, yeah. Edgar Ramirez says, uh, I hope we get to see Shailene Woodley should come back as Mary Jane Watson. Hey, Kike, that's fucked up about that movie. An American, Sp yeah. Amer American Spider-Man number two. Um, mm -hmm. there was actually Mary Jane. They casted her and they shot a lot of scenes with uh, Andrew talking with her. And mm. they cut her completely out of the movie when it came out. Why is that? I don't know. You know, 
I could speculate and say maybe they knew the movie was going to suck ass and they yeah. just took it off. Or I don't know why they cut it off. But they filmed <laughs> that poor little girl. Like <laughs> That's the explanation they gave to her. No, oh, yeah, yeah. You know, we thought the movie was going to suck. That's why we cut you off. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. I feel bad. I feel bad. No, I feel bad for that little girl because like back in the oh, day, yeah. we didn't have a podcast, but I was still going looking for spoilers. And I seen the pictures, dude. She's wearing some uh, jeans and a leather jacket. And uh, and it's a, little, it's a redheaded little girl, teenage, whatever, mm -hmm. in her 20s or whatever the fuck. And mm -hmm. uh, she's even in a motorcycle. She's on a motorcycle. And she's talking with him. She's talking with him in the street. Mm -hmm. and shit. Uh, so she filmed, she filmed scenes. There was going to be Mary Jane. Because that's Maybe supposed to be the next. good enough chemistry, bro. It could be. It could be with not chemistry. Right. And he was dating, or he's still dating this chick, too. No, he wasn't. That chick already moved on and got pregnant. Kike. She has kids. No, no, no. Not this one we're talking about. The other one, the redhead. What do you mean? We're talking about Andrew Garfield, right? Yeah, the he... chick from Superbad? The redhead? Yeah, I know. He was... She was... She was, she's dating her, or she was dating her. That's he why was. Probably... Yeah, Emma Watson, yeah. they broke up a long time ago, and Emma Watson Not ended Emma up. Watson. Yeah, that's her name, Emma. Emma Emma Stone. Emma Stone. Emma Stone. There you go. Yeah. Well, Emma Stone, she moved on and got married and had kids already. See, fuck, fuck Andrew Garfield. He's got a small dick. Oh, wow. You could tell when the Spider Man suit. It's not that big. Kiki. All right. Toby's, All right, guess, Toby's and Tom's. Someone's making notes about that, okay? Yeah, cool. Of course, he can. All right, Toby's and Tom's, they, they're packing, but Andrew Garfield, he ain't got shit. I seen it. I seen it. You could tell which one is the stunt double and which one's him. All right. I could tell. I could tell. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Uh, yeah, see, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not, you don't want to fucking get into economics, but you're measuring dicks. Okay. Well, is there such a class about measuring dicks? I'll join it. As long as Biden <laughs> pays for it. Oh. You know what? Nowadays, maybe there will be a one class like that. Hey, maybe there's a woke class. I, I could be like the. I would. I would ace that motherfucker all the oh, way. Ah! Yeah. Uh -huh. Turn you into a socialist, fucking. Hey, fuck you, Kike. It's communism. Get it right, motherfucker. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah cheers, uh, Edgar Ramirez. <laughs> Ramirez. When you have to do a little Ramirez. That's the way I. <laughs> hey, hey, motherfuckers, I talked to you back where we live. Like, like that guy who lived next door. I'm like, hey, Ramirez, come down. Uh, you got any weed, <laughs> motherfucker? I ran out. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I just find it funny because, like, it sounded like Japanese. Ramirez. Ramirez. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Let's do it. Gomer thinks that. Uh, Tom Holland has a small dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kike, your best friend. He wrote a long one. El Dogon Funny. He says, <laughs> hey, fellas, kids went out to some parties. I hope they don't come back with monkeypox. Oh, dude, they probably did, motherfucker. I wouldn't. You know what? As soon as your kids come back, you have an, a bottle, a spray bottle, and fill it full of alcohol. No, not the one you drink. You know, the one you use for cuts. <laughs> And as soon as they walk in the door, you fucking spray the shit on them. I'm just saying. Yeah. That's what I would do. He says, I'm finally lighting up and watching this. Why does Hollywood keep remaking classic movies? Oh, just wait till you hear some of the bullshit we're going to talk about tonight. Uh, Oz and Hell Ra the Wizard. I guess he's talking about Wizard of Oz. Wizard of Oz, yeah. And Hellraiser. Uh, I'm not on board for either. No one is Me asking. Neither. Yeah. He says, no one is asking for these franchises. Make new uh, intellectual properties. Oh, I know that much. Kike. Oh. I, I am actually pretty proud of you. Yeah, I've, I've been reading a lot on the internet. I've been reading a lot. Oh, I thought you were going to say internet service provider. <laughs> I, uh, I haven't caught the yeah. She-Hulk yet, but sounds woke as fuck. It is. Oh. It's funny. It's funny. Yeah, It's funny. He says, again, Kike is a dumbass. <laughs> and the entire Jamie Foxx segment proves it. I wasn't going to put a timestamp, but I'm sure that lame Kike will say some smart remark about how, because I didn't timestamp it, it isn't true. So here you go, Mr. College Man. He put a long fucking timestamp, Kike. Oh. And I'm pretty sure you don't want to hear like a, a minute and a half fucking like timestamp. Uh, think, on something think, on, think, on something that everyone can go watch actually, and watch that time slot. It looks like it looks like six minutes actually, but that's crazy. 
Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, we're not gonna play six minutes, dog. I'm funny, motherfucker. But Kike, he's calling you out, calling you fucking a dumbass. I was trying to be nice to say one minute, but I guess you called him out on six minutes. Okay, I Anyways. can count. I can count. I mean, I, I don't know how to multiply, but I can add, motherfucker. I'm trying to be nice, dog. I'm funny. Track. But anyways, six minutes. this is what we fucking said. Basically, I said, no, you said that Jamie Foxx had a movie and he didn't air it out because the audience is too woke to fucking see it and no one's going to fucking like it. And I said, just post it on, on on your own website and ask for money for it. You know, Andrew Schultz did it. Fucking Louis C.K. did it. A lot of other fucking people have done it. Okay. Even fucking Radiohead did it. But they said, like, if you don't have money, download it. Or if you want to give us some money, give us some money. But anyways. Okay. You said, yeah. no. This better be the last time, Kike, that you fucking mm -hmm. promote other motherfuckers. And so people can can switch our channel. They go look at Andrew Schultz. They go look at Radiohead. They go look at all these dumb motherfuckers instead of us. You dumbass. It's music. I don't give a shit. All right. You want to play music to them now? No, we want people watching us, not fucking going to somebody else's site. You dumbass. I don't know what you're going to do to fucking start getting more people to watch us. Are you going to fucking start your own fucking like... I don't know. Can get, maybe we website maybe, and maybe, fuck you. If you stop fucking up, maybe we get more people. All right. Now we got three last week. You fucking don't fuck uh -huh. up this week. We might get five. Now settle down. <laughs> anyways. Okay. Anyway. Doug and Funny is calling you out. And he says, even if he doesn't play it, it's there for all to witness. <laughs> you see the same thing you said, Kika. They can click on it. Son, yeah. if, you, if you ever run into some sort of big money, don't let this idiot handle your finances. He'll wow, end up. Big words. Yeah, he says he'll end up making a multi-million dollar production and then putting it on YouTube for free. According to him, and that's right, Kike. I'm, I'm, I'm agreeing with him. All right, I was pissed off when you were saying that dumb shit. He says, "Cheers, son, not Kike." Oh, cheers, dog. I'm funny. <laughs> hey, if I could, I'm funny. Here we go. That's for you, <laughs> motherfucker. You, you tell me. You tell me if Patty Mayonnaise pussy is pink or is it brown. I've always been wondering. Cheers. Ugh, imagine it's all mayonnaise. <laughs> You're having fucking second. Hey, KK, those are the <laughs> best. Oh, oh. Hey, no, lu hey, no lubricant needed. Oh, uh, just yeah. your other fucking friend's piss in it. Ugh. No, it's hers. She fucking, she makes it. Don't worry, KK, don't worry. That's what she told you, right, son? <laughs> okay, I, I make it. All right, don't worry about it. You don't know. Hey, KK, I already told you. We're not doing a periodic podcast. We're not going to be talking about sexual shit like Dr. Phil and all that you bullshit. You it up. All right. You better stop it. You brought it up. Kike, from the from day one, Kike, instead of doing this podcast, Kike wanted to do one of these bullshit where people call and ask us about sexual shit, and we respond. No way. Yeah, and I told you, Kike, we're not doing that bullshit. All right, that's perverted as fuck. All right, who knows what kind of fucking weird motherfuckers uh, will come out and shit. All right, Kike. Okay, you're done? I ain't good. You better be done, motherfucker. I'm done with this pervert pervertedness. They're going funny. Cheers. That's what he told his girlfriend. Are you done? Yeah, I'm done. I'm funny. Nice. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, cheers. <laughs> cheers. <laughs> Gomer, Gomer said gonorrhea looks like mayonnaise. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, worst Miracle Whip. Hey, can, can calm down. All right. I like. Uh, actually, I don't like Miracle Whip and shit. Oh, fuck Miracle Whip. Yo, yo, yo. People that fucking eat that shit are stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It tastes weird. <laughs> too sweet, too sweet. Why is that sugar? Why? Well, I mean, that's why Mexicans <laughs> are diabetic, you know, because we like that bullshit. I don't. No, nah, neither do I. Well, no, because we're American, Kike. All right, you convert yeah, it. Yeah, mayo. Mayo, mayo. Real mayo. It's got to say real. It's going to say, because if it's not, if it doesn't say real on the label, it's not real, <laughs> motherfuckers. <laughs> Yeah, 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 I think it's gotta say, it's gotta say real. It's gotta say. It. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. Anyways, uh, I mean, at least son is reading the labels. Yeah, good, good job. Next time, try to turn it around and see how many calories and sodium it has. And sugar hey, and shit. I, I haven't joined college yet. Don't be trying to be a teacher oh, telling yeah. me what to read and shit. Fuck you. All right. Yeah, you're right. I guess. Wait until yeah. wait until they accept me. I don't know if they're gonna make me take my SATs or can I turn in the scores from last time? I actually copied them from the motherfucker next to me. <laughs> Can you turn in your scores from last time I was in college? <laughs> ah, high school, Pendeja. They made us all take the dope oh test. Remember? Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember that. The ACTs. I actually did pretty good because I copied from the guy next to me. 
I was gonna say, me too. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Anyways, <laughs> let's see. Uh, it says, Rocco, fuck my life. This, oh, this motherfucker Satanist, and he's putting time. Oh, anyways, he says, <laughs> Okay, fuck <laughs> you. <laughs> Turn the. <laughs> yeah, there you go. You know my what? Slipped. We'll do it again. The right way for Rocco. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do it the right hey, way hey, for hey. Rocco. All right, all right. We're waiting. Oh, you're waiting on me, okay? Yeah, I thought yeah. you were going to say something before, but oh, check it out. Oh, baby, oh, baby, oh, baby. Rocco. There you go. All right, all right. That was cool, Kike. Next time, don't fuck up when you do it. <laughs> it's funny because it has both the fucking name Rocco in the fucking button. So it's kind of hard. Fix it. Make it as look bad. Already did. Anyway, already did. He says, uh, hashtag dudes, direct quotes, trying to make us look bad. He's, and then uh, let me finish reading it because it's a short and then we'll play it. He says, uh, mm-hmm. Laughing my fucking ass off. And he puts those stupid faces and shit. And then he put probably, probably one of the best cold <laughs> openings to this woke show yet. Cheers, dudes. All right, let's see what he's talking about. First of all, cheers, Rocco. Cheers. Cheers, Kika. Piece of shit. Why do you fuck me? Fuck you, dude. I'm here, like, trying to fucking hey, cheers. Cheers, cheers motherfucker. Cheers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's why I stopped, because you said you fucking motherfucker and shit. Oh, fuck yeah. you, bro. I didn't say that. I, I said you piece of shit. There's a big difference, Kika. Be a pussy. Well, you're, you're a piece of ass. I'll cheers to that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Cheers. Yeah, I'll cheer. I fuck it. <laughs> ah, that was badass. Yeah, 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 yeah. Kike being a pussy and shit. Kike, why you gotta be like that, man? Fuck you, bro. Like, you don't know how I talk? You know, like, my vocabulary includes these words. <laughs> shit, ass, fuck, uh, cunt, slut, whore, uh, yeah. uh dick, cock, yeah. pussy. Uh, I mean, you don't have to fucking name him all, <clears throat> all and, of them. And ass. All right. That's my vocabulary. Mm-hmm. That's how, you know, they're, what they're, I, I, I learned this much, I remember. Those are called adjectives. They describe the next word you're saying. Like when I say, I'm fucking pissed. How pissed am I? I'm fucking pissed. Oh. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, my, my teacher, she was mad, but when I told her like that, she's like, God damn it, he's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember when I was young. When I was young, I was like, "Yeah, I, I under, I, I, I'm listening, teacher. I'll give you an example. Ah, look at this fucking bullshit. What am I describing? <laughs> yeah, I'm describing the bullshit with what word? With fucking your whore. Ah. Yeah. yeah. The yeah, teacher yeah. was probably, hey, you know, your kid is swearing a lot, and your dad's like, hey, ho. Actually, yeah, dude. I always had to. We always had to bring. I always had to bring my teacher. My, actually, I always had to bring my older sister as a translator because they wouldn't trust me to translate to my own parents. But what they didn't know is I grew my sister, motherfucker. Oh yeah. So she, they would tell her what to tell my parents, and then she turned around and told my parents like the complete fucking lie. He's really smart. <laughs> They're saying he's doing good in school. <laughs> and I'm like, thank you, sister. Oh, I won't tell anyone when you sneak out of the house to go kiss boys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was good with them. I was like, yeah. hey, you know, we can we can have a working relationship here, right? We don't have to hate each other because you're a woman. I'm a, I'm a man. Like, if we work together, we can both fucking <laughs> fuck over these Mexicans that, that, that have us under control and shit. You know? yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you're right. So, yeah, yeah right. I, was, I was good with my sister. Cheers, Rocco, <laughs> you motherfucking Satanist. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers, bro. You're the shit, by the way. You are the shit. Oh, Kike, that was a good one, Kike. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, ma'am. No, ma'am, Kike. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. National Organization of Men Against Amazonian Masterhood. Aw, oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, he says, uh, I skipped church this morning, but it's okay. God will forgive me as long as I explain I was watching dudes podcasts. Cheers, woke dudes. Uh, actually, I wouldn't tell God you're watching us, bro. He might. He, I don't know, man. Like, <laughs> unless you're praying to Jehovah, don't don't tell your God you're watching us, because only Jehovah is gonna accept us. Right, you can. <laughs> sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Yeah, 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 Kike. Don't worry. We're, we're we're circumcised. We already got part of the covenant. We're in, Kike. We're in. All right. Fuck those uh, other religions. All right. I don't have to follow all these other religions. I'm already in, Kike. I'm mm-hmm. part of the covenant already. So you think just by chopping a little piece of fucking, like, dick, you're in? It's in the Bible. We need no foreskins. You're in. You're in. All right. <laughs> It's the covenant, <laughs> motherfucker. I chop. They chopped the, the tip of my dick off for you when I was born. You better let me in. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> That's what you're gonna tell God when you get to heaven. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's gonna let me in too. Don't worry, he's gonna let me in. He knows. He knows. I miss a little floppy end. <laughs> well, I, I mean, I was too young to remember, but I never got to experience. I, I never got to experience it. I mean, sometimes I look at porn mm-hmm. and I'm like, I wonder what that's mm-hmm. like. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. You know, in Mexico, you, you when you, when someone tells you "melapelas," you know, like you couldn't say that. You know? Yeah, I couldn't say a lot of Mexican bat words because they're talking about uncircumcised penises. Uh, I was yeah, circumcised. Yeah. You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. God bless you, Yahoa. Don't you forget me, motherfucker. Spanish word of the day, Spanish phrase of the day of the day "melapelas." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which means you can jerk me off, motherfucker. Right, Kike. Or you can. Peel my dick. Oh, yeah, peel my peel dick. My you're right. Yeah, you're right. That means is that <laughs> translated directly. It means peel my dick. Mela pelas. <laughs> Mela pelas. <laughs> fuck up. You peel my my fucking dick. Yeah, peel my dick, <laughs> motherfucker. Mela pela. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Spanish lessons 101. <laughs> Mexican lessons. I know Spanish, Kike. If you, <laughs> if you say it to a Spanish person, they're not going to know what the fuck you're saying. In a restaurant. Hey, mira, pelas. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, vosotros. Ah, vosotros. I don't even know what that means, Anyways. but I, but I hear them say it all the time. Those dumbasses. Hey, anyway. hey, hey. Che- cheers, no. Spanish, <laughs> cheers, no, ma'am. Cheers. Hey, let it be known, we're not Spanish. We're Mexican. Yeah, we're not. I mean, they can tell you, idiot. <laughs> well, they better not yet, because uh, the Spanish are white and proper. We ain't proper. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no. Fuck no, they're not proper. They fucking stole countries and fucking raided and killed people. Fuck them. They're Wait, not proper. Work they're the opposite of proper. Work it gay. All right, just stop holding in the anger. All right, all right. Anyways. Uh, we're in America now. Anger. No, we're in America now. America, the land of free, the freedom. Just, freedom. just let, half. let it go. Let it go. We're in the free. We're in the free. <laughs> Proud. Proud. All right. Oh, yeah. Anyways, uh, you're gonna do this, but okay. Since we're talking about Anyways. America, Kike, uh, <laughs> on the America Chavez sucks video that we posted like months ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh uh, my God, uh, Oscar T <laughs> says, uh, "Oscar, Oscar <laughs> T, uh, hey, yeah. the cunt is here." Ha ha! Cheers, the cunt. Uh, Cheers, mate. Yo, yo, yo. Oscar T says she don't know who Christina is. Fucking lost it. Oh, because we said <laughs> this little bitch don't know who Christina is and shit. She don't know fucking uh, La Gorda La Flaca. I think I was saying. Oh, my God. The shows were so much shit, bro. But they were everywhere. Telemundo. Oh, no, remember what shit. was that? What was that hot lady's name? La Senora Laura. <laughs> oh no yeah please, that girls. lady that oh. lady who was in that uh what was that uh, uh oh my god there, there was a look there was a super famous soap opera in mexico about a guy yeah. who who was like in his 40s with with white hair yeah oh you know who it was it was a guy from chips what was his name eric oh estrada eric estrada all right it was a show eric about estrada. eric estrada in mexico and he and he was in his 40s and he was hot as fuck and he was pulling two bitches at the same time. He was pulling an old ass hot lady, and then he was he was pulling uh, a young girl, uh, who was hot as fuck. And that's what the dude, that's a novella from back in the nineties. Yeah, yeah, that's an old novella. And and the the hot old lady, the hot old lady went on to have that show, La Señora Laura. And I always watch that show, and she's like talking to like she's. It was like one that of those. Is not the same. Is it the yes, same thing? It's the same about? lady. It's the same lady. 
she she just got a show like like Oprah where she would interview people and she was like old oh, and Jesus. she had all this like that shit fucking like stressed the shit out of me because my mom and my sister <laughs> would look at that shit like yeah. it was fucking like the news okay and I was That's like how I learned this bitch is uh, just telling you lies and shit bro uh, 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 uh. <sighs> talk about anyway. shit fucking like morning news and shit like the morning fucking shows are shit bro hey, hey, you're a that. dumbass you no, no, no i wasn't watching to learn what the fuck she was saying i was watching looking at her tits of course you were yeah, she yeah, had her yeah. tits done they were badass ha uh-huh. cheers oscar you motherfucker <laughs> the fuck you laughing at Kike? <laughs> I don't know, man. It's just, oh man, I hate that fucking Mexican fucking morning TV shows, man. All right. The novelas. Go, go, all right. I hated well, all that shit. Forget bro. all that shit. Forget all that shit. There was, there was just a lot of hot bitches in those those soap operas. There was a lot of hot bitches. That's I mean, what, I'm not gonna lie, they were. Sometimes I would just put it in mute and be like, "Who the fuck is that?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I would, I would look. My sisters and my mom be watching that shit. It would, they would always start from 7 p.m. all the way to 10 p.m. Like three or four of them in a row. And oh my yeah, yeah, God, yeah, yeah, right? yeah, 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 and I would go and sit down there in the living room, and yeah, my and my sisters were all like, "I think you don't like Mexicans," and I'm like, "I don't," but that chick has big tits. Now shut the fuck up. Let me watch. My mom didn't know what we were saying because we were talking English, so I just sit down, and watch TV with them because they're bitches with tits. Okay, it was badass. <laughs> uh, but anyways, uh, right. next comment, Branson Belcher. <laughs> Brent Belcher, y'all, we're gonna use guy DJ Horror because it's been a while. Kick in three, two, yeah. one. Ah, you dumb motherfucker. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I don't even know if it worked, but we'll find out when when, when we see it live. <laughs> You're doing that fucking horn, motherfucker. I'm high as fuck, but who gives a shit? <laughs> dude, motherfucker right, says, right. uh, dude, motherfucker uh, says, uh, fast. X is gonna be awesome, and everyone is going to be awesome in the these two final films. This is Fast the, Ten. Hey, hang on, Brandon Belcher, motherfucker! You already typed this. This is an old comment. It's the same one. You did you copy and paste, motherfucker? Is it? Yeah. No, it, he edited it. He edited. It. You fucked up. You didn't see oh, the fucking thing. This okay. is edited. This, this is not a new comment. It's the same comment from last time. <laughs> But you, what did you change, <laughs> motherfucker? <laughs> I don't know, man. Look, Leave him alone. No, no, I'm not going to go through this, Branson. But everybody, uh, if you want to go back to this old yeah. video, this motherfucker basically spoils the entire Fast X movie. I mean, we basically had a segment reading the comments where we spoiled it because we read it. <laughs> and it much, is, yeah. it's the entire movie. This guy spoils what every character is and what they're going to do and shit. Uh, so go and read his comment, Belcher. I and mean, if you're interested in that, go on, go ahead. And yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't give a fuck about uh, fucking Vin yeah. Diesel and his pregnant fucking fat ass. Cheers, Branson Belcher. You're the shit. Cheers, Belcher. 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 Oh, yeah, because he's German. He's German. Indy, Belcher. Indie Phantom on the, uh, what is the Wizard of Oz? Oh, yeah. He says, oh, yeah. Ah. He says, uh, look at the look, look at the bean counter. <laughs> this fucking guy. <laughs> he said, 369 subscribers as I write this. Oh. He says, that's funny. We, we reached another milestone, a 69 milestone. Time to yeah. celebrate that sexy shit. Multiracially. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> The Tin Man is already <laughs> the Tin Man is already pansexual. It would probably be a, a, a tin lady this time. Yeah, probably. Remember L337? That feminist robo bitch from solo. Yeah, the black the it was she was black. <laughs> Actually, I like that robot. It was badass. Uh from Rogue One. Well, no, from Solo. It was from Solo. It wasn't from Rogue One. Uh that was what shit. Bitch. Did you go like uh 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 uh? No. Uh, some something <laughs> like that. Not that exact. Not that exact. Solo was a bad movie, and mostly because uh it had a bad story. And number uh-huh. two, the guy didn't look like him. That's why it was bad. Truthfully, I never yeah. watched. He says he never watched the original Wizard of Oz, but he saw the crappy Oz movie that Jane Schrankel was in, uh, with that Mila Kunis kike. Uh, which was oh, woke as, yeah, he says it's woke as fuck, and so he gets a pass. Cheers. I've never seen that. It's supposed to be a prequel on how the wizard ended up in Oz. 
Mm. Yeah. How the guy, because the guy, I think, I've, I haven't seen the movie, correct, Indy, you can correct me if I'm wrong later, because uh, I don't think you're here. Uh, but I think the story is, it's like Dorothy. He gets stuck up in a tornado and he ends up in Oz, and you see the story of how he becomes the Wizard of Oz. But he's just another human like her who got um. stuck there. I think he got really bad ratings because that's when they noticed that he was trying to fucking hook up with uh, girls in his class. It was around no, the same time. No, 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 no. That, that no? hadn't happened yet. I don't think so. No. Oh, really? No. I don't think it had happened. Yet. This, this, this. He was already hooking up with girls in his class, but it hadn't come out to light. Yeah. This, the com, coming out to light happened only a few years ago. And this is an. You know this, which one is a fucked up one? Returning to Oz or something like that. It's from uh, the nineties. It's uh it's yeah, Return to Oz with with uh yeah. Baruka Bach. Yeah, 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 yeah. That she's one a, was weird. He gets she's a pure Brit, draconian. I can see that, yeah. yeah. She has a tail. <laughs> she tucks it in. <laughs> it's fucking... Yeah, yeah, it, has... yeah okay. no, they do. They they know how to like I'm not gonna get into the details because it's good at graphic, uh -huh. but they pretty much stick the tail up in her pussy. But anyways, that's how they tuck it in. Because it's long. Uh, but anyways, draconians. Hey, I just thought about a toy that we can make some money for. Like, remind me later after this. Fuck you, yeah. I'm trying to tell a story. Uh, yeah, <laughs> right, right. Baruka Balk is Dorothy. I remember. And shit. Mm. But there's mm -hmm. another. Yeah, she looks like her. Mm -hmm. There's still not another Wizard of Oz, and I think we already talked about it. But the other Wizard of Oz is a oh, black. Yeah. It's a black Wizard of Oz. There's like uh, Michael Jackson's a Tin Man and yeah, shit. Michael Jackson. Yeah. I'm gonna lie. The last part of it was pretty fucking cool. I don't remember it. I just remember that yeah. Michael Jackson was a Tin Man. I saw it, but mm -hmm. it probably sucked because I erased it from my memory, or I did a lot of drugs and I don't remember it. But the only thing I remember from it is that Michael Jackson is the Tin Man and that mm -hmm. the monkeys ride around. Their feet have wheels and their legs, and that's how they move. That's not it. That's not it. That's, that's the one? one that I was talking about returning oh, okay. to Oz. So the only thing Last I one. okay. So the only thing I remember about that woke ass Wizard of Oz is that Michael Jackson was the Tin Man. That's all I remember. I don't remember nothing. Yeah, I mean, like I, honestly, the, the 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 last part of that movie was the the good one because they do a little musical fucking th scene and obviously Michael Jackson, everyone's dancing and shit like that. So that's the only good part of that fucking movie, honestly. It must have sucked if I don't remember nothing, nothing of it except for Michael, because Michael's the only thing. I or maybe you were too young, because that was like 1983, 1980. It don't matter if I'm young. I remember Michael, because you know he's the shit. He gets. <laughs> he's a king, a pop motherfucker, and there never been one. I would let him anger me. <laughs> hey, kid, fuck you! This is no sexual show. We already said. <laughs> keep your, keep your, keep your right, shit. All right, all right, fine, fine. Anyways, okay. Uh, cheers, Indy Phantom. You're the shit. <laughs> cheers, Indy. <laughs> Um, oh, and the phantom on the gun fishing. He says, speaking of hungover, that's like the only good time to go fishing. I hate fishing, bro. Dude, you have to go fishing with me one time, one of these days, man. Okay, we're not going to catch bad. nothing, and I'm going to be angry. It's not about fishing. It's about fucking having a brewski. Just being there. We're doing that now. Well, yeah, but I mean, you're out there in nature, bro. In the hot sun Anyways. with all the flies and the fucking mosquitoes and the fucking no, that's fish. that's why you do it in the morning, like bro. And, and Jaws could come and fuck us up or the Kraken. Fuck that shit. Yeah, I don't want no alligators. <laughs> in the fucking river? Okay, anyways. Yeah, he says, it's nice, mellow way to recover from a binge. Or, mm -hmm. or start drinking again while you fish and then pan fry the little trout. You see? There you go. You see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Although last time I went fishing, it was in the stock ponds where you are guaranteed to catch something in 10 minutes. It's the lazy way to fish so you don't come empty-handed. Uh, the true. fish are also raised on corn. And they're nice and fat. Uh, they yeah, are. The corn. He says that they're fucking dumb because they raised them for years in ponds where they have no predators. And it makes it easy to catch them. You see, like, that, it's, it's you know true. what? It's all true. That kind of fishing I would do. Hmm. No, here in Texas we just do it here on the on the on the river yeah. and, just, and, you know. and you never catch nothing. It sucks ass. Yeah. You, uh, you might catch a snake or a snapping turtle, and that always pisses me off because you're trying to take it out of its mouth and then it's trying to bite you at the same time. Fuck that snapping turtle, bro. Yeah, Fuck yeah, that. yeah, yeah. I've never caught a fish. I catch I catch bullshit yeah. like snakes and turtles. Um, uh, anyways, 
uh, he says, uh, I just realized I never freaking saw this movie, and I was confusing it with The Great Outdoors with John Candy and Dan Aykroyd. That movie's That's true. That movie sucks, too, so it's all good. Cheers, dude. Yeah. I actually love The Great Outdoors. You know what? And I've never I, seen I, I it. Just... I know. Yeah, it's true. I, I, was it's giving true. You, I was giving you shit the other day. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dumbass. I, I, I haven't seen it, so it does have John Candy, but I, I never saw it. And uh, for some, dude, honestly, I have this thing where I don't watch, for some reason, I don't watch movies that are bad. And I, and not until I started this fucking podcast with you, I started watching all the shitty movies that I've never seen in my life. Oh, <laughs> well, me too. I've never seen some of these dicks. <laughs> <laughs> but I see, but, I seen a uh, great outdoors. I don't think it's a bad movie. I, I, I I'm entertained every time I see it. You and know I, what? I I'll love seeing John Candy tonight. I love seeing John Candy tomorrow. Maybe I'll be too drunk tonight, but okay, yeah. Cheers, Indy Phantom. Mm-mm. Cheers, bro. The trumpets. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. on the Wednesday video, he says, laughing out loud. He get is working up, and then he puts a sound bite. Kike, let's see what you said. Oh, I think he tried to say Kike is woking up. Oh, woking up. All right, let's hear. Yeah, yeah. Look, it looks crazy. I'm, I'm obviously I'm intrigued. I mean, the kid looks a lot like me when I was a kid. Who, Wednesday? Yeah. You look like Wednesday? He looks like you. No, no, the kid. The male kid. <laughs> yeah. It, it, honest mistake, man. I was too drunk. Oh, okay, okay, whatever, Kike. You're in there. You're hey, in there. Dude. I'm going to pull you out. Don't worry. He says, I agree with son. Luis Guzman is a bad fit. I told you, Kike. That guy doesn't even look like him. The rest of the family. Dude, he looks just like the comic books one. Oh, dude. He's... he's short and stocky and he has like the fucking hair like that. It looks like just like the fucking comic and it, books. And his face looks nothing like him. Oh, Have look. you seen the comic book? Yes, he's got big round eyes, mm-hmm. and uh, and uh, on a wide face. But you know what? Mm-hmm. At least Raúl Julia, the best motherfucking actor of our fucking of oh, our yeah, time, was... at least he would he yeah. didn't have big eyes, but he would always try to go like. No, he did have big eyes. No, but he, he was, but he would still, he, really he would still do this Latino man, dude. No, he's he's like our friend, bro. Like oh shit, that hurt. Back in town. Exactly, you you can't do that all the time, you dumbass. Well, he did because hey, he's look. a badass, you dumbass. No, he's a good actor, and he has really. Hey, let's be honest. He, he would open his eyes and act all really like crazy, you know. He has big fucking eyes, and you know. But yeah, hey. but I mean, like in all honesty, the beginning, the comic book when it's all started, Guzman looks like a short, stocky fucking man that looks gross. I don't know. I think that's what it was cool as a comic book. I was like, how did this guy score a fucking gorgeous woman like that? All right, well, let's because they like to murder people, and not a lot of people like that shit, Kike, right? You and women that. love murder. <laughs> some of them, some of the crazy ones, the crazy ones. A lot of them. You don't want those. Kike. Anyway, no, let's no, finish no, Indy's comment here. You, you, or not Indy's <laughs> fucking trumpet. Yeah, the rest of the family at least resembles the original characters. You say, Kike, right? Coming out of the fucking the greatest man has ever been running the country. I'm just saying, Luis. Luis looks like a creeper in this, and he's not even trying to play the character. Like, go. That's one other thing I fucking had said earlier, or, or the last uh-huh. time we did this. He's not even trying to sound or act or do yeah. nothing like Gomez. He's basically playing mm-hmm. himself. Have you well, in the I mean, trailer? It seemed to me. He's just playing himself. He wasn't trying to be what Gomez is. Yeah. It well, didn't seem like it to me. I'm not going to argue that. He's not a multifaceted fucking person. Oh, no, he's Mexican. He's, he's lucky he got that job. He's talking the same way all the time. He's always been like, hey, my name is Luis Guzman, and I always do this shit because uh, Hollywood always want one of these guys, right? And he's always in Adam Sandler fucking movies and shit like that, you know. He's always oh, yeah. playing dumb shit, like, like just like Gomer just said. He, he saw Guzman in the Cabo way where a cow sucked him off. You know where the first time I was pretty young, I think. I don't know. The first time I think I remember I saw Guzman was probably, um, um, what was that? Waiting. That movie, Waiting. Oh, shit. Yeah, the goat. Remember? 
Oh yeah, the goat. The goat? Yeah, yeah. No, but he was always fucking a hot chick <laughs> in the trash can. <laughs> a redhead. Yeah, oh, redhead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some a whore. Yeah, he was always fuck. That movie was badass, but fucking Ryan Reynolds is like shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was gross, but it was funny. It was super <laughs> gross, and I, I think I didn't go out to like a Chili's or restaurant for a year after I shot that movie. Yeah. It took me a while before I actually started going out again. Because I was just like, fuck this. Fuck that. That's why I would always ask when I go to Chili's, I make it medium rare, but microwave it for five seconds. <laughs> That way, I, you know, all everything is gone. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's just, you think they're going to listen to you, Kike? <laughs> they're back there where you can't see. They can just say they did it. Yeah, they're not going to do nothing. They do I mean, the opposite. I had stomach the past fucking five times I've been there, but it's okay. Uh, you forget uh, about those things. You just drink the Long Island teas and you'll be fine. Yeah, it's alcohol. Yeah. Clean it out. Hey, Dave. <laughs> He did, Gomer said Dane Cook was in it. That's true. He was. I didn't even remember he that. Was in it, yeah. Who yeah, else yeah, yeah. was, he was in one it? of the cooks? Justin Long. I don't like Justin. You know what? The only movie I ever liked Justin Long is is the one where they're like searching for Bigfoot. I forget what it's called. Because the oh, dumb- shit, never seen that. oh, it's hilarious. It's got like yeah. it's got like the bad kid from uh, what's his name? The one who lost a lot of weight from Super Bad, uh, Jonah Hill. It's got Jonah oh, Hill Jonah in it. Hill. It's got a lot of comedians, underrated comedians from back in the day. Oh, I've never uh, heard it. Well, you know what? No, re- scratch that off. I think you have mentioned it before. I don't remember what it's it. called, but in that movie, yeah. fucking uh, Justin Long, he tattoos eyes underneath his eyelids, and then they're having a... But but you don't know this. Ever, they're having a meeting, and everyone's sitting around a table, and then they ask him, like, Hey, man, you've been really quiet. What do you think about what we're talking about? And he's just there looking at them. And Aaron's like, yeah, what the fuck? And then they, they push him and he wakes up and everyone freaks the fuck out. And he's like, what the fuck? What's going on? And then he's all like, he's all like, oh, uh, I had eyes tattooed on my eyelids. So when I fall asleep, it looks like I'm awake. <laughs> That's so fucking stupid. It no, was, you know what? The, it's the best the scene just, ever. <laughs> <laughs> the only uh, Justin Long fucking movie that I liked is the one with the the fucking like. Uh, and he's here, yeah, 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 yeah. The woke pack lives. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. was that one with the fucking they they play fucking ball and shit? Ah, oh, fuck. Dodgeball. Dodge dodgeball. I was thinking fastball because of the band. Uh, yeah, dodgeball. That one was fucking funny, and he I wasn't it. He I wasn't funny on that. I don't remember that movie I'm talking about, but if you all do say it in the comments and shit, the movie where it's like there's it's a bunch of comedians with Jonah Hill, Justin Long, and some other dumb motherfuckers. Uh, I don't but even know. They're looking for they're looking for Bigfoot, and they do documentaries for like the Discovery Channel, but they're about to get kicked off. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, there's another guy th- that's better than them, and they're about to kick that get kicked off of the channel. And they're like, it's well, one of those movies that you try to fucking uh, you try to show me, and then we get too fucking stupid. I don't, we, name. I don't remember the name. I don't remember the name. You don't even know it. Anyways. I don't remember that name. It's something about, you know, I don't know. They're, like I said, they're like this crew that films wildlife and uh, to try to stay in the channel, the Discovery Channel, whatever, because there's other, yeah. there's other guys better than them. They try to go get footage of Bigfoot. Uh, <laughs> and when they run into Bigfoot, they all shoot it, dude, and it dies. And they're all like, well, shit. <laughs> I don't fucking tell you the movie. I mean, I haven't seen it. That's, dude, uh, it's well, crazy. We, we try to see it. It's crazy because that happens early in the movie. Not even like the most yeah. of the movie. It's a stupid movie and it's hilarious. It uh, I don't know. I'm going to have to search it's... it. I'm going to like Google uh, Justin Long movies and I'll find it. But it's a funny movie. Uh, I don't. I just don't remember what the fuck it's called, to be honest with you. It's okay. Chairs, trumpets. You crazy motherfucker. Uh, make America great again, bitch. Yeah, yeah. Um, Brendan Belcher, did motherfucker, he better not. Oh, it is Strange Wilderness. The cunt just said it. He can't write it down. <laughs> I'll let you know. Strange Wilderness. I'm uh, downloading it right now, I guess. Yeah, yeah. It's fucking hilarious, bro. I need to, I need to download it because I just saw it on TV like uh, a year or two ago and I was laughing the fuck. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Branson, Branson Belcher, uh, uh, again on the fucking Fast X. 
Oh, Kike, but this is a new Ooh. comment. This isn't an edited comment on the last one. Yeah. He, he said, Fast X filming Ten. when... Oh, Fast... Oh, fuck you, Kike, it's X. Fast X filming means has... Are you going to stop me? Let me read, motherfucker. It's hard for me because I'm trying to think about with the syllables and shit. All right, all right. Jesus, okay. Fast X. Yo, yo, yo. Fast X uh, filming has went totally 100 wrong. Oh, shit. And he puts a, a, a pissed off face or disappointed face. But there will be an update for the 10th chapter of the film. Hey, Kike, do you think this guy is like an Asian fucking camera guy? Who's filming, like helping film the movie? Because he spoiled the entire movie, and now he's telling us that yeah. the production is in trouble. And he's telling us in like the way a foreigner would talk in America. American. <laughs> I was about to ask, why do you think he's Chinese? Because <laughs> it, it, yeah, he, he, that's, look uh, how he's talking. I've heard people who try to talk to me English from well, another he's not country. Talking, he's typing, but exactly, exactly. <laughs> look, man. Um. Delcher is in the production crew, Kike. I'm telling you, he's in the straight, the Fast X. I mean, let us know, Belcher, if you're in the Fast X production. You're not gonna say that in the middle of this. Uh, they're Maybe gonna know we are not that famous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we barely have 369, Kike. <laughs> and only 40 yeah, of these yeah. motherfuckers watch yeah. us. 40. Uh, <laughs> None of the 369. Um, yo, fuck y'all motherfuckers. Y'all better start telling the rest of y'all friends and there better be hot moms and cousins and aunts and shit. <laughs> mm. Fast X. That sounds... You, you know what? You need to make a fucking movie about a Fast X girlfriend. Nah, 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 nah. Hey, we're not X. doing perversions. I already told you. Cheers. Oh, no, it's the next girlfriend, you asshole. <laughs> Belcher, cheers. Yo, dumbass, you're the shit. And we like that you come back and edit your comments. Uh, so tell us uh, what's going on with the Fast X. Cheers. <laughs> and then tomorrow. <laughs> he can't. Fuck you. One less fucking person. Here you go. Why here you go. Why do you think that happened? Fuck you. You call him a dumbass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck you. Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kike, stop being an asshole, all right? Like, stop trying to... Oh, okay, I'm being an asshole. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just cheers to Branson Belcher. Mm -hmm. I'm always cheering. I'm always drinking, bro. Hey, fucking hey, hey, hey. uh, Indie Phantom, another comment on the yeah. Wednesday, on the Wednesday. Yes. Yeah. All you woke dudes can suck it. <laughs> oh! <laughs> he says, yeah! I am in for Jenna Ortega. Did you? Fuck yeah, me too. Yeah, did you? Well, yeah, you, you motherfuckers like little little Mexican girls. No ass. Oh my no, god, no she's not little, bro. Yeah, she's, she's little. I seen pictures. I mean, not to you. She's probably taller than you. It doesn't matter. She's little. Like she's thin. <laughs> and shit. I can squeeze her in through the crevice of the door. Anyways, did you wokesters watch X yet? Okay, what is he talking about? I watched a Japanese anime named X. Where the motherfuckers fought and they in the building. They're running and they with swords. It's a movie called X. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's an anime, Japanese anime X. Oh, really? The motherfucker's like fucking up shit. It's badass. She is awesome. Mm, I don't think he's talking about the same one. Hey, Wendy, I don't know what you're talking about, motherfucker. I seen a Japanese anime named X. Uh, I guess there's a Jenny Ortega and shit. Uh, he says she is seventy five percent Mexican, twenty five percent Puerto Rican, and one hundred percent legal. <laughs> ah, that's why that's why kika likes her oh yeah this fucking guy mm. no it's a movie it's a it's a horror movie i know exactly what he's talking about like they're doing a movie and it's a horror movie and they go to this fucking place and they just start filming i think it's like it looks like it's in the 70s or something like that um not 100 percent, but i think that's what he's talking about jenna ortega comes well, on that for all you nerds out there there is also an anime out there called x it is badass. Right, right, right. Anyways, technically, she's a bit young for Kike, to be honest. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> they, I mean, Just she, think, Kike. Yeah, of course. You, you're a pervert. Don't even try it. All right, leave her alone. <laughs> leave her alone. All right. You're right. Uh, he says, you drunk Mexicans will be binging the hell out of this, and so will I. Cheers, homies. We're going to watch it. We're going to watch it. We already said. Yeah, I'll yeah. Hey, I paid for three years on my VPN. You best believe I'm going to use it. Even for the shit I don't like. I just finished the beer, bro. Check this out.
Oh my god. We're, we're he's pulling out a Kramer. Ah, uh, <laughs> yeah. He pulled out a Kramer. Yeah. All right. That was for you in Defantum, <laughs> motherfucker. Canada! It kind of sucks that I could never visit you in Defantum. And you know why? You know why? The rules, the rules you have. <laughs> I was there before the rules, bro. It was fucking badass. Well, fuck you, Toronto you think, awesome. think you're fucking badass because you got white friends and shit? Fuck you. They were black. <sighs> Anyways, cheers, kick it. Hey, cheers, son. And cheers, Gomer, with your little ducks and birds and fishes. I don't know what he put a bunch of like, emotes of, of like little animals, kick it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Uh, let me fin let me. Let me I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill this, but I got another joint. Right. I got another joint there, like waiting. Y'all don't worry. We're gonna be fucked up by the end of this show. You know what it is. Y'all join us afterwards for the boys. Ah, yeah. Cheers, Cheers motherfuckers. Bro. Yeah. You know what? You know what? I want to go out hunting, man. I haven't done that. Hey, Kiki, I don't like killing things that I like. All right. But if we I, went out. I want to kill things that I eat. No, nah, I'd rather have other people do that for me. But if I was going to kill something, it would have to be something that I don't like. And honestly, that would be illegal, Kiki. So we can't do that. Look, man. All I'm saying is I would like to go throughout the process of like killing an animal and eating it and purposing everything so that it can eat and you know purpose the the hell out of the animal. And I used to do that when, when I was living in Mexico, man. Fuck all that shit. Hey, Gomer Kyle, we're gonna I was a kid and I would fucking kill chickens. <laughs> you know? I mean if you wanna I'll go hunting with you as long as you do all the killing and then I'll do the eating and down of course, with you're gonna fucking like just be sitting down like yeah, I don't wanna I don't wanna have blood on my hands. Pussy. Mm. Hey, we're going to, uh, you guys, uh, we're going to actually talk about that CM Punk shit uh, for the boys after the podcast. That's just for y'all. Just for y'all. Oh, dude. Yeah. That yeah, yeah. fucking match was we're, awesome. It's back for the, the boys. For the boys after the podcast, they're going to be wrestling just straight up for all y'all. But anyways, we're, let, let's get started with this, with this, with this wokeness of the week of dumbass fuck up celebrity. TK. With pop okay. culture breakdown. And actually, we're going to start with an update. Believe it or not, Kiki, an Bro. update. <clears throat> Yeah. On the downer news. How the fuck does that work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought the same thing. I was like, what the Ugh. fuck's going on? But apparently, none other than this company named Celestis Memorial Space Space Flights in Texas. Over here where yeah. we live. Well, they're gonna send Nicole uh Nichelle Nicole's ashes, well part of her ashes, and her DNA in a rocket that they're gonna launch into space out of the earth and it's gonna go around the moon like a slingshot and then the moon mm -hmm. is gonna gravity is gonna shoot it into the towards the sun okay yeah, yeah who's yeah, paying yeah. for that i don't know a bunch of nerds who fucking masturbated to her celestis memorial space flights yeah yeah yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm wondering where the money's coming from to do that shit you know, because like the family's gonna be like, "What? You wanna shoot my grandma's ashes?" I'm sure the, the family said, "We'll sell you part of her ashes for fourteen million dollars." <laughs> oh yeah, of course. of course, yes. And then yeah, you can you can right. do what, you can do whatever you want with it and shit. And of course, that's what mm. they're doing. Oh, we're gonna shoot it. That's why a bunch of nerds who masturbate wow. to this for this lady. They all got together, put their money together, and they paid the family for a little bit of the ashes. Wow. You know what? If I was if I was the family, I'd be smart. And I just have a fucking barbecue and then give those dumb motherfuckers the ashes from the barbecue. You just from the coal, from the, from the charcoal and shit and give it to them. There's yeah. here's my mom's ashes. Give me the $14 million, you dumbasses. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, this DNA has some uh, uh, pork and chicken. Imagine. How did they get the DNA? Did they take her hair or sweat? That's what I'm saying. Ashes are ashes. There's no DNA in ashes, bro. They said DNA and ashes are going to be sent out into space. If they're mean that, it's like, fuck, I don't even know. And they're calling man. the That's rocket kind of grim. They're calling the rocket you know? the Enterprise. Oh. They're just trying to make money. 
They're trying to make money. They're trying to fucking promote their fucking company and trying to make a company out of this, you know, like, oh, yeah, my dad, my granddaddy uh, used to be a sci-fi fucking, well, like, this you company, know, oh, I, mean, I would love that shit. I don't want to advertise them or nothing, but this company has been for a while. They'll send anybody's ashes. You can pay the money and shit, and a bunch of nerds paid the money. They probably paid the family, and then they paid the money for this bullshit. <laughs> Dude, you know what? Oh, man, that would be a such. That's a smart fucking company, man. I would. I, I bet I would be like, hey, yeah, yeah, I can send someone to space. You know, a lot of kids know how to do that. Can you build a but, rocket? I can build yeah, a rocket. And you know, they're being space. They're being smart as fuck because they're telling the people, oh, it's gonna shoot the rocket. It's gonna go around the moon, and then we're gonna shoot it into yeah. the sun. These motherfuckers are all like, they just no. use the rocket, it goes into space, and it blows up in the atmosphere where no one where no one sees it and shit. Yeah, <laughs> I can do that, too. And then your grandma, okay, and, and it's in a Ziploc bag, and I tape it with a fucking, like, you know. <laughs> to a bottle like, rocket. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, there you go. There you go. That's it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, uh, that's, that's just crazy, bro. I'm just saying. Yeah, I don't know, man. That's kind of grim. It's grim, but I, I don't think it's real. I mean, I, I don't think they're going to. It's going to be fake ashes, and they're going to pretend. Like, I don't know. It's just weird, man. It's just fucking weird to send a woman her remains into space. Yeah. So some aliens can clone her and masturbate to her. That's just weird. Oh. Uh, yeah, here we go. But anyways, we're moving on, Kike, because this is. Uh, we're getting weird, but we're gonna get even weirder. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. With the weekly pervert news. Here we go. And this week, Kike, believe it or not, yep. this mm -hmm. week we got none other than fucking Gary Busey. That fucking uh, Quasimodo looking old man and shit. I don't know what happened. I don't know if it was the drugs or somebody beat him up yeah. or something. But somehow his face changed as he got older. It shifted. Yeah, 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 it's fucked Jesus. up and shit. Uh, but right. we're going to talk about this old man because guess what, Kike? He yeah. is being fucking a charge with, uh, with sexual assault because... He was a no, he, can't. he was at one of these comic cons, you know, like for all the nerds and shit. But it wasn't like Comic Con. It was like one of these, like you know, like these wannabe comic cons that they have, and, and all the nerds that are not lame con. Yeah, lame cons. You know, I've been to plenty of the lame cons. I've been to a lot of those. And that's oh, all right, okay. you know. Anyways, uh, there's a lot of bit loose bitches in there, Kiki. It's all right. They, they're, Find they're, us next year on Lame Con. We'll be there. Hey, Con. In a booth empty with just stickers and shit. Oh, a bunch of fat bitches with big asses, Kike. Dressed as Sailor Moon. <laughs> dressed as Sailor Moon, motherfucker. Well, that's what this guy uh, was at a horror yeah. convention, you yeah. idiot. And uh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah. so he was taking pictures with some bitches who came to take pictures with him. And then he started touching them and groping them and shit. And, and let me just clear some, some of the bullshit. The, the pictures you're seeing down here, that's not yeah. from this incident. That's at another time. He was at he, he you know, but he was in a he was at an airport and some bitch was being fucking a slut and they caught them. He was just being a whore, you know. She likes it. She liked it. Look at her face. She liked it. Uh, that's a different thing. That's a different thing. The bitch. Gary Busey and gay, being Gary Abusey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the thing he did at the horror show, the the chick got pissed and she went and complained and called the cops and they fucking the the before the cops showed up. The, the place of the Comic-Con, they kicked his ass out. Get out of here before the cops come. We don't want to be associated with a pervert. They kicked him the fuck out of the, the arena, and then he got arrested. And, uh, of course, he was released. Of course, he was released and shit, you know, but he's, yeah. he's he got charged. He got charged, and he's going to have to go to the fucking court or some bullshit. Uh, and the, but and all of a sudden, <laughs> he can't, we're not done with this pervert. I know, I know. I'm saying I'm just reacting. Jesus Christ. Yeah, well, <laughs> fuck you. Yeah, you know, try to be like all like... <laughs> You know what's going on, motherfucker. I know you don't know. <laughs> I try to tell you, you ass. Oh, listen, Jesus Christ. Hey. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Gary Busey is over here. And um, the, 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 the paparazzi are chasing him. They're looking at him. This motherfucker don't mm -hmm. give a fuck. He sees the paparazzi the next day. Did the very next day after he was charged at a Comic Con for being a pervert. Uh, he sees the, the, the pap paparazzi taking pictures of him. The motherfucker sits down on a public bench and takes his pants down. And sits 
bare ass on a bench take a picture of this motherfuckers this guy's a crazy <laughs> fucking asshole uh, <laughs> so like, my dick and my balls are sweaty as fuck this old man do, hey you know what, what i hope one day i get to be like if i get to be old because i don't know man you might die early i don't know i know yeah, that's what i'm saying maybe he's just being old and doesn't give a fuck yeah, you know, yeah i can't fuck this. if i'm ever old i'm gonna be like him i'm not gonna give a fuck i'm gonna pull my dick out in public and start <laughs> masturbating <laughs> let's see someone stop no, me don't yeah, yeah, do yeah, yeah. That. <laughs> let's see someone that stop me no let's see you stop an 80 year old man at the target <sighs> doing that shit <laughs> with a limp dick while looking <laughs> while looking at the bras and shit yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no man that's oh. fucking oh my god nick nolte no nick nolte uh <laughs> gary Busey, <laughs> you deformed motherfucker tears <laughs> <laughs> We're moving well, on. <laughs> Nick Nolte. <laughs> You're one of them, I guess. Son uh, reminded he. Yeah, we're uh, moving on. We're moving uh, on. Yeah. 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 Uh, Indy <laughs> Phantom says he hasn't fucked for years. Hey, I don't know. I think there's some loose bitches out there he fucked for money for sure. For Try, money. Bro. For money. For money. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Anyways, uh, guess what, Kike? We're going to move on from the perverts of this week. We're dogs. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Kiki Knowles, Kiki Knowles. We're going to move on to the weekly loser news. The who? The her. And this week, we got none other than fucking uh, Dennis Rodman, Kike. Because guess what? Shit. This motherfucker, throughout his career, and yeah. in being rich as fuck, because he's a baller, you know, yeah. basketball players, they they make a lot of mm-hmm. fucking money, bro. Uh, yeah, because he's a baller, uh, so he's mm-hmm. rich as fuck. And in his lifetime, he has deservedly, deservedly, he yeah, was yeah. a good fucking athlete. They all were, yeah. Anybody, Chicago Bulls. yeah. Anybody, the football players, all motherfuckers, like you're dumb as fuck, but you fucking put your effort to the <laughs> one thing you're good at. You deserve the money. No, yeah, yeah. You put your effort to the one thing you you're good at. You yeah. deserve it. You deserve it. I, Muscles. I, we have muscles. That's, we can do this. Yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Me, the only thing I'm good at is drinking and smoking, so that's why I do it, motherfuckers. But I don't do it for the money. <laughs> I do it for the money. I do it for the pleasure. Well, I appreciate that art, but I'm really good at it, you know? Yeah, fuck you, Kike. I don't do it for the money. I do it for the pleasure, <laughs> bitch. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get it right, get it right. Anyways. <laughs> this guy has traveled around the world with his stardom and yeah. his money, Kike. All right? Uh-huh. And yeah. through his travels, he has met yeah. Bitches, important people, rich motherfuckers, draconians, but he has also met world leaders like King Jong Un, and uh, yeah. and, wow, and also your pronunciation, bravo. Yeah, come on now, you know I'm trying to be proper when I speak to all motherfuckers on the other side of the world. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> respect Only to fucking respect. Fear dictators. I have respect for you. You're yeah. like Trump. <laughs> I've done I, nothing but good things for this country. Yeah, Kike, they make all our products, all right? Gray you gotta respect leader, them. Gay leader, one of the greatest. Fuck you, Kike. You wanna know why there's no PlayStation 5s? Because those motherfuckers are pissed at us because of Biden. If Trump was there, yeah. we'd there be PlayStation 5s all across every store right now. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Yeah. They're just holding to the chips. Hey, fuck you, we Kike. can't build one? No, 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 no. Our great leader doesn't want us to fucking build one. Just keep the chips and don't fucking share them with America, okay? Okay, daddy. Yeah. Tomorrow you have job from five to twelve again. It's a fucking twenty-four hour fucking. <laughs> Fuck this guy! All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he also met Vladimir Putin, and he said <laughs> Vladimir. I don't give a fuck. He can. Vladimir. He's bald. He's I don't give like, fuck. <laughs> he has a little magic one. And he said, "I'm going to Russia, and I'm going to free yeah. this lesbian uh, basketball player, uh, <laughs> and bring her back to America." <laughs> fuck Biden. <laughs> Uh, and the White House is pissed, Kike. Oh, the goodness. White House is fucking pissed. Yeah, Biden himself, he was overheard in the in the lounge next to the water cooler going, who the fuck does this N-word think he is? We <laughs> tell the press we don't support this, and if he fucks with our trading of two criminals over for a fat fucking <laughs> overweight 
uh, way past his years, Canadian spy and his lesbian fucking basketball player who wanted to smoke weed and hash oil in Russia. Uh, if he fucks up our plans of uh, screwing America over, uh, we're going to get pissed. So they're mad because Rodman's going to go over there and talk to Valdemir and say, hey, let this bitch go. Let's smoke some weed and drink. Shit. Vladimir. Vladimir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Kike. Uh, do you think Dennis <laughs> Rodman can do it in America? Why do they have a fucking water cooler there like in the middle of fucking the White House, bro? This is, they made that this is the Biden administration versus Dennis Rodman. Kike, who do you think is going to win? Who do you think is going to bring this, this lesbian uh, home? Who's going to bring the lesbian home to America? Obviously, they won the fucking terrorists that were fucking like dealing with fucking shit. So they won those people back in Russia just to say, eh, <laughs> fuck you, you fucked up. That's basically what Putin is doing. He's like, I got you, motherfuckers. You want this bitch? Uh, give me the, my, the, my, the, my best fucking like investigators. <laughs> give me the murderers. <laughs> Uh, yeah, exactly, exactly. Give me my murderers back. Yeah, but again, mm -hmm. like I'm just saying, what if Rotman does it without giving no one up? It'll be like a fuck you in the face of Joe Biden and his administration. You know what? Yes, it is. It is. Do you think he can pull it off? No. Nah. The Biden administration already said they don't Whoa. support this shit and they don't want him to go. But this motherfucker says, I'm going. I'm going to go. He goes, I've been, I've talked to him. We're friends. I'm going to go <laughs> talk to him. Go ahead, bro. That's what you'll be said. a fucking, you'll be a hero. Oh, Do it. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bro. I hope he a does it, because you know what? Yeah, that's what I'm going to say. Dennis Rosman is woke as fuck. I remember. Andy Phantom said smash the woke button. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I talk about, motherfuckers. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We'll see. We'll see what he does. We'll see. Hey, hopefully he does something so we can talk about it. <laughs> but anyways, we're going to move on. Keep I going. Mean, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, sadly... Unfortunately, yeah. I gotta say, we are not done with the losers, Kike. We got no loser. It is, it is none other than this dumb son of a. No, no, no. Hang on. I misspoke. Let me apologize. Oh, I, this is not. I appreciate a, the fact yes, that yes, you yes, are yes, placing yes. yourself in the right way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I miss. Gentlemen. I, I try to be a gentleman because this motherfucker has yeah, more yeah. money than I do. Uh, I try to be a gentleman about it. You know, I respect you, motherfucker. Uh, you did what I've dreamed of doing. And uh, what yeah. he did, Kike, is that his yeah. lame ass, no talented motherfucking, uh, uh, you know, a, a, a deadbeat motherfucking ass uh, managed yeah. to get one, uh -huh. of, one of America's princes in love with him. And he married her and he had a bunch of kids with her and shit and divorced. But because of all that shit, he kept to keep some of the money. It doesn't matter. He's rich and famous now. We're talking about none other than this dumb son of a bitch known as Scott Disick, who is uh, Kourtney Kardashian's ex-husband. Because this bitch is married right now to the guy from, what was that band, the band Blink-182 or some bullshit? Travis, Travis, okay. she's married to him. She married Travis, Travis Scott? Yeah, she married him. She did just like a, a couple of months ago. And so uh, this dumb motherfucker. I don't know what you're taking me with this. You're taking me on a ride that I don't even know what's yeah, going Yeah, because he doesn't follow uh, the the... The actual royalty in America, I do. I watch these bitches all the time. Uh, but anyways, uh, this dumb motherfucker's over here depressed and shit. And he ran in, he, he ran in his Lamborghini, a weird truck that they make now. A Lamborghini weird truck. He ran it into a, a, a mailbox. By himself, no traffic, in the middle of the day. And by myself, I did it myself. My <laughs> wife didn't do this for me. By himself. all me. All fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> and he flipped his car over. <laughs> An idiot. That's an expensive car, Kike. You know she paid for dude, it. <laughs> how fucking fast can you run to fucking do that, dude? He's just mad because he's afraid to get tattoos the way Travis gets tattoos. Oh, my God. Yeah, dude. I bet you Travis has tattoos on his dick, Kike. That's why this bitch is all crazy for it. I don't need... Uh, okay. What do you think? I mean, what do you you're think? the one imagining that shit, right? Anyways. Well, what do you think about it? You think this guy's so depressed that this bitch went and married another guy who's better than <laughs> no. him with more money and shit because he's a deadbeat, doesn't have any talents, never even had a job in his life? Dude, uh, how can you be depressed when you have a fucking car like that and be 
fucking around like that. He's probably high as fuck, dude. Doing he, coke he was just shit. drunk and high and on coke instead of like yeah. feeling bad. He wasn't feeling. He don't give a fuck about. He don't give a fuck about this slut. Come on, man. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You think that's what's going on? Yeah. When you're depressed, you don't fucking go drink and go out and go driving. You just stay in your Actually, home. Yeah, fucking, a lot of people drugs. do. Oh, it was well. No, you just drink, do drugs, and fucking kill yourself in a room. That's what you do. All right, uh, uh, kick it, please. We're not condoning anything he, <laughs> this dumbass just said. <laughs> We're not he, condoning anything. I'm just saying something true. You know, talking about they, do this they motherfucker just trying to sabotage the channel, trying to fucking like uh, you get us banned and shit. <laughs> Fuck you, kick it. You better stop saying shit. <laughs> We're moving on. <laughs> this is what happens right, when you right, fuck right, bitches fine. in a weird family. That's all I'm saying. We're moving on. Okay. All right, we're moving on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, unfortunately, we're not done with the weekly loser news. Kike. Again, Jesus Christ. I mean, I'm in America. I guess we have a handful of them. We have a lot of losers, Kike. <laughs> All right. They want to be rich yeah. and they want to be in the public eye. It is what mm -hmm. it is. It's not me. It's what it is. I'm reporting what other people already said. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. Don't kill the messenger. Yeah, you don't kill me. Kill the motherfucker who said it. Anyways, uh, weekly. Loser continued, Kike. Yeah. You're never going to believe this. This week, mm -hmm. we have none other than Reddit. Okay. <laughs> Reddit has apparently banned one of these woke-ass motherfuckers on Twitter. One of these, one uh -huh. of the motherfuckers, you know what? I'm going to give it up. I don't know who this is, but I'm the one of fuckers like us who talk shit. Yeah. And uh, he got banned off the Marvel Reddit thread. The entire okay. fucking... And and it says uh he he sends them it, they say you've been permanently banned permanently you're you know not a time period no you're permanent no from participating in in the Marvel thread and he says hello I would like to know why I'm banned and then Marvel says I can call it no uh he says why I'm banned and and this guy uh they reply uh I mm -hmm. can call it dog shit and I'll be doing it a favor MCU is more appropriate so that's his comment. Like, they just repeated the comment that this is why you got banned, because of this comment that you put. And the comment that he put was, I can call it dog shit, and I'll be doing it a favor. MCU is more appropriate. And so then he replies to them, thanks for replying, but just be clear, is be it's because I said MCU. And then Marvel replies, yep. And he says, wow, no warning, nothing, just full censorship. And, uh, and yeah, they've been, they've been muted. He's fucked. Oh, all because he said MCU. Not because he said he can call it dog shit. Because Reddit, people talk shit on Reddit all the time. But they Wait, banned him. Is for it because he, he said, instead of saying MCU, he said MCU. Or because he didn't fucking put spaces under M space, she space, you. No, the comment, MCU. The, the comment that he put was actually spaces. Yeah. And when he asked them. They still say yes. It doesn't matter. Yeah. You're getting banned because you said the phrase MC, which is oh, lame okay. as fuck. Hey, hey, Look, Kike, man. Welcome I've to China. I've been telling people to get out of fucking like all these fucking platforms. Welcome forever. to China. Oh, Kike, welcome to China. <sighs> this is yeah, the I internet. Know, this is I the know. internet. I welcome to you. China. Can you believe that? Mm. This is this is literally what China does. Wars in Mexico, this dude. is literally what China does. Yeah. Yes or no? I mean, I'm dumb yeah, as fuck. Exactly. I'm dumb as fuck, and I know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, dude. I mean, like in China, it's like fucking like that movie 1984, bro. They fucking like have cameras on the streets that fucking read your fucking like faces and everything, bro. Like dude, it's crazy. In China, there's like there's <laughs> words you can search on the internet, and you'll get zero zero, zero fines. Like there's phrases. <laughs> There's stuff you can search names of people and they nothing will show up. It'll say zero, zero searches. I, uh... Like, this guy can't even give his own opinion and just say, like, I call it the MCU and, and they can ban yeah. him permanently. For, for right. just... next, next thing you know, fucking puns are going to be illegal and shit. You know, you can't fucking like, you can't refer that to that because that is not that. And it's not appropriate to do that. Okay, man. Dude, Fuck yeah. you, bro. Honestly, some I don't understand yeah. why people are all like, oh, if you don't agree with me, you're canceled. You're banned. You're a racist. 
Honestly, that's so fucked yeah, up, dude. Yeah, I don't understand. Like, be because like some of the honestly from my life, some of the best mm -hmm. conversations I've ever had yeah. is with somebody I disagree with. Yeah, because it's fun making fun of them. No, it's not making fun of them. We start fighting and he starts telling me <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 his yeah. shit. And I'm like, oh, yeah, well, this and this and yeah. this and this. And I, I don't yeah. believe that shit. And he, I don't believe your shit. And we're talking. And he's See, talking. This is what happens and before you when know you it, dude, don't fucking argue with someone talking, that doesn't fucking like. We've been talking for a long time. And you know what? You know yeah. what? You're a badass. I don't, under, I don't understand. Or I don't give a fuck about yeah. what you just said. But you're a badass. And then it's like uh, we, yeah. we talk for 40 minutes disagreeing exactly. and seeing yeah. each other's point of views we don't like each other but at the same time we fucking bonded because we were there for a long time respecting each other and shit this this fucking like uh COVID thing like fucking like threw us off and and social uh, being social and like talking to people and going out there and be like hey what's up how's it going start a fucking conversation with someone bro it's okay what if they don't agree with you? Oh, you're gonna be like, "Fuck you, you cancel, no, dude!" Like, just keep it going is. and shit, dude. Nowadays, yeah, fuck. I mean, it's fucking stupid. I grew up in the fucking '80s and '90s, bro. Everyone was disagreeing with everyone, but we were happy. We weren't insulting each other or canceling each other. Canceling, by the way, is bullshit. Nobody cancel cancels each other. You just fucking stop fucking thinking and hearing their thoughts, and then you just fucking like not knowing what the fuck he's doing. So you're fucking like getting them more fucking leisure to fucking do whatever the fucking they want. <laughs> Look, man, the fucking thing is, you need to talk to everyone, and you need to be fucking like, Listen you know, like for a little be bit. Friend with say. your stranger, bro. Make your fucking like your your enemy your friend, so that you know what's going on, bro. It's okay, man. If you disagree with some things, dude. Back in the day, we did all that, that <laughs> shit all the time, bro. Jesus Christ, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. Hey. I don't know. We're fuck fucking you. dumb, dude, nowadays. Oh, I'm done with Reddit. If Rindy Fenton says he wants to start a dude's Reddit page, and uh, he said he wants, <laughs> he wants to cancel this woke show, uh, if we were ever on Reddit, we would be fucking banned for life. You know? I just use a Reddit, I just use a Reddit account to look for spoilers. But if I try to comment, uh, I'll get banned. And you know what? Sometimes I have comment, and I have gotten, like, I don't get banned, but they say that uh, they, they, I, I, like, they took my post down, and I don't understand why. I am, you know, but I'm not gonna get into they that. They never give you a fucking reason. No. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna get into it. Fuck Reddit and the MCU and the bullshit oh. the you're talking about. Yeah, we're moving on. You can You better get ready Excuse for this, mom. everybody. Everybody in the comments, you motherfuckers, y'all better get ready for this. Geek, are you ready? Yeah. I don't even know what you're gonna fucking show. What's up? Get your beer ready. Your beer, not this bullshit water. It has alcohol, you ass. It keeps it cool. He's lying to all of us. You know how many fucking beers I have in my fucking fridge. All right. Hey, will you slow down? I haven't even said what we're doing, you ass. You told me to drink. This fucking guy. All right. You drink. How about? I mean, I'm going to wait. Here we go. We're gonna, I hope you all are ready for the thirst of the week. And this week, again, we have yep. none other than 59-year-old Demi Moore. And she's showing more fucking uh, skin and shit. No pun intended. Than she ever did in some of her past movies. Oh, yeah, 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 49. No, yeah, 49. No, 59. What am I talking about? She's 59, Kike. And this I is her. I to say, wait, how old are we? <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty yeah. Old, no, Kike. I mean... Uh, yeah, 50, we are. I mean, 59. Yeah. Uh, and she was in Greece spending all her her money because she did movies. It wasn't her husband's movie. It was her yeah. own. She took she took her shirt off in those movies for money. Okay. She earned it. And goddamn, like I would give her that money if I had it. If I had, yeah, if I had yeah, it, I, I'm just saying, if yeah. I had it, I'd give her the money. Fuck yeah. Ah, Kike. Uh, what do you think of this 59 you know, year old woman, Kike? She looks great for her age. I'm actually surprised that you said, like, oh, look at this, because she has no fucking ass. I'm not looking anyways, at the ass. Oh. Exactly. But hey. you always say, you always no. say, it's not just no ass. Right there. Yeah, but she has one thing. It's 50, it's 50%. It's still good. I still hit it 50%. Fuck yeah. Uh, well, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah she, just no good. doggy. No doggy with this bitch, because then it's disgusting. <laughs> no doggy with this bitch, but it's all right. <laughs> Just say, just say. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I guess I agree with you. There you go. Rarely, there but I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Cheers, Demi Moore. You're still <laughs> hot as fuck, and we appreciate you. 
Yeah, yeah. All right, Kike. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, we're going to move on mm-hmm. to the badass of the week. And this week, Kike, we have none other <laughs> than Matt Reeves, the director yeah. of fucking The Batman with Robert Patterson that made $750 million during COVID. Uh, during COVID, they didn't even wait. They released it. They didn't give a yep. fuck. And even during COVID, they made the money. Uh, Warner, David Zaslav, Warner Media and Discovery have voted on the board and they've decided to give this guy a multi-year contract. The kind of contract that Christopher Nolan has over there as well. This guy is now going to fucking uh, have multi-picture deals and shows and he has complete mm -hmm. freedom to do whatever the fuck he wants because he, they know he is a genius and can make them money a bankrupt company which we will talk more about later a bankrupt yeah. company is finally doing like say this guy is like christopher nolan caliber we need to lock him down to exclusively only our fucking studio interesting yeah. I mean, I mean, I guess, yeah, good for them. I mean, if that's a good, it sounds like a good what, movie. What, did you not like the Batman? Don't you think he could no, make no, good no, movies no. after seeing that? Yeah, no, 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 that's what I'm saying. I, I guess that's a good move. And, I don't know if... And he's going to make shows for them for HBO Max and, and their I apps mean, or whatever the new merger app yeah, they're going to call yeah, Because yeah. the apps are going to merge all their, their Discovery, yeah. Warner apps. Everything's going to merge. So it's going to be called something different eventually. Now, again, I'm fucking drinking and smoking. That's right. Me, uh, so am I, so am I. <laughs> so what exactly did he do? Like he wrote or directed or produced? Oh, what is he? Everything. He, Both? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. I said three things. So it's the three things? He might have produced. I don't know. He might have put money in. I'm sure he okay. did. I'm sure he did. And they're basing themselves in one movie that he fucking did or more. The, the, the way he is. They just know he's money. He get. I don't know. I okay. didn't do my okay. research. Right, like, yeah. I mean, I'm just asking some simple questions so I can build my fucking like. Uh, I just not think review, that David, but my, my answer. David Zaslav is is a smart man. Everybody's everybody's yeah, mad at him I because mean, he's canceling shows yeah. and and yeah. and and canceling shit. And, and and but you know what? He was given the job of taking a bankrupt company and yeah. trying to make it closer to being profitable. Profitable. So to simplify, I it, think it's impossible he's, for he's, this one man to make it profitable. It is impossible. But that's they what probably, I'm asking. They probably tasked him to get it up. We're we're going down. Look, I have AT and T stock, which is this shit, and I'm telling you, it, it has been going down even before COVID, and it hasn't gone up, and it's not going up. It keeps going down, and I'm okay, telling you, okay, all, stocks. Okay. they know one CEO for the next five years or for as long as David Zaslav is here. They know one fucking yeah. guy is not going to make them profitable, but they want that one fucking guy to start moving the needle back up. And that's this all this guy is doing. He's making the this good decisions. I, this is what I think. Disney's if they're going trying down. to make this guy into Kevin Feige, because it sounds like they're no, trying to make no, no, this no. guy into Kevin they Feige. Got, they, got, they already hired some other Asian guy to be that for DC. They want him to produce movies and shows. Not to be DC guy. He's yeah. probably going to make another Batman movie, but he's yeah. not going to be strictly DC guy. He's also going to make yeah. side movies and shows for them. But remember how Kevin Feige started? They already, I'm telling you, they already replaced Walter Hamada. It's some Asian guy. We're not going to talk about it. I was going to wait till next week to talk about I, it, Kiki. I know, but it's some but other fucking like, Asian guy. They just put in charge of DC. Like you have to work from the bottom, and then you go up, man. And if they're trying to fucking make this guy like, hey, he's going to fucking solve all the problems, but we still have the executive no, fucking producer and can't. the fucking, like, That's and not this what guy this over is. here in Sony, and he doesn't know anything of fucking, like, American movies or English, or he has never read a fucking comic book, then it's going to fucking fail. This isn't what this is. They want okay. an exclusive director. They think this guy is like Christopher Nolan. And they don't want to let him I'm go asking. make movies and shows for other studios. That's what I'm They want to lock him think... down for strictly Warner yeah. Media. And they just did. They threw hundreds of millions of dollars and gave him freedom. 
And so now, Kevin Feige at the beginning of Marvel, the, during that. Nope. Kevin Feige, Feige was literally put in charge of Marvel because he had been working through Sony's bullshit through the whole time as an assistant to Amy So Pesky. working from the bottom and then he goes up, right? Yes. He's not exactly. the Kevin Feige. Geek. He's a director. That's what I'm asking. Is he's he Kevin dir- Feige or not? No. There's, no, exactly. That's there's what another I'm Asian guy they just hired yeah. to be the Kevin right. Feige. Of DC. What is it? What is that guy's a, a credits? Like, is he done anything good or no? All right, we're gonna move on because we were talking about <laughs> Matt Reeves. Kike is lost as fuck. fuck no, you, I'm Kike. not lost. I'm asking you. Asking me a question. You think this is gonna be prof- uh, profitable? I'm yes, asking you questions so because I can build they my got fucking... they got a good director to only make projects for WB. He cannot make projects for Marvel. He cannot make projects for Sony. He cannot make projects for no. Universal. He cannot make right. projects for nobody. You he didn't can understand only... what I was asking. No, you I do, but I I, but you don't no. understand. You think they're putting him in charge of DC. They're not putting his guy in charge of DC. They're only locking him down as you can only make to projects make with us. Yeah, exactly. And so that's he's going to make movies. Asking. And that's what I've been saying. He's going to make movies and shows for them. You know, yeah. that's all it's he is. It's not going to be profitable. I, I I can tell you right now, it's not going to be profitable. Uh, Kike doesn't think this guy is going to make no. DC money. I think he nope. is. I don't think it's going to be profitable. I D- thought the they Batman don't, they don't was amazing. Doing. The Batman was amazing. Yes, but you can't fucking base yourself on a movie. You have to fucking have some more background. That's all they want him to do. Children. They want him to make movies and shows. The this, thing that he's good at. Be the thing that's that he's good at. Profitable. We'll see. I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you, it's not gonna be. Profitable. We're not done with the badasses of the week, and knowing Kike, he's gonna say that this company is not a badass. Okay. He's gonna say, "No, you're not badass. I'm, I'm fucking rich in the white." Telling you, city. I'm a big fan of Sony, but not the fucking movies they make. All right, so not, I'll tell you that. This Kike is making. I haven't even turned it now, but here we go, spoiling everything. We're going to talk about Sony now. Fuck you, Kike. You want to run the show? I didn't know that. You want to run the show? I was talking about what we were talking about. You fucking asshole. Here we go. That was WB. We weren't even talking about Sony. Here we go, Kike. I was talking about Sony. Running the show now. So, Kike, the badass of the week is Sony. You want to know why they are the badass (laughs) of the week? (laughs) Why? Because at a time where there is a semiconductor and motherfucking solid state devices chip shortage, these yeah. motherfuckers, uh, you, and their shortages, we don't have fucking uh, consoles, we don't have new phones and shit, the technology, we don't have no Tony Stark holograms, there's no fucking flying cars, and motherfucking yeah. Elon Musk can't land on Mars and shit because we're running out of chips. Right, and Sony knows it. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they went ahead and hiked up the prices of the Sony PlayStation Five yeah. at the same time that Nintendo said, "We know there is a sh- chip shortage, but we're not gonna hike up the price of the Switch." Yeah. So Sony hiked up the price of their PlayStation Fives throughout the globe, Kike. But guess what? Not. Mm-hmm. In America, well, I can tell you why. Uh, yeah. That's badass, Kike. We don't give a fuck about the rest of the world, the foreigners. Only America gets to get the cheap shit. Uh, I can tell you why. Here you go. Like I said earlier, here goes Kike gonna hate on the badass of the week, like always. Let's I'm see. telling Let's you hear. why. Kike knows better it's than everybody. You can That's only good. get you can only get bundles. For PS5s nowadays. So if you get the actual uh, a disc only or the non-disc one, which is the digital one, uh, they only have bundles available because I work in a fucking place where they sell those things. Well, Kike, and if you're an actual PlayStation owner like I am, I don't, and a motherfucker who subscribes PlayStation. to PlayStation Plus because we play online with our friends every night, yeah. you fucking guy. I always tell you to get online. Mm-hmm. You never want to. You try to be a pussy. But anyway, I want to buy a PlayStation. I have a fucking better fucking looking, better playing fucking PC over here. Anyways, yeah. so I was online and shit. PlayStation, yeah. and they just sent me one on Monday. They sell yes. me. I'm at the top uh-huh. of the list if I want a PlayStation mm-hmm. 5. 
Have you gone? Have you clicked on it? No, because I want to. No. Well, these are the available ones that no. you have now. No, I have. They, they, I'm yeah. on the list. All I gotta do is because I'm on. I'm, I'm on their mm -hmm. fucking uh, yearly subscription, but I don't want yeah. it right now because I need it to be slim. Fuck you, Kike. Okay, that wasn't what I was talking about. But anyways, I was saying like, Kike, why do you hate? Saying, why do you hate? I'm not hating. That it's cheaper in America. Hating. Why is not, I'm not hating. I'm just saying Europe is 549 euros. That's a little bit more than 560. Okay. We are selling the PlayStation 5 bundle because they haven't fucking put the fucking PlayStation 5, just the regular one, for 500, which is 499.99. This is 449.99 euros. Euros are a little bit more than a dollar. Okay, so it's more than four five fifty. Are you the trying to say that, that it used to be cheaper around the world? Us, the bundles that are sending us are with a game, digital game that the game doesn't fucking it doesn't matter. Way it's just a fucking PS five. How much you is it? The fucking code. That's what I'm saying. So UK. 440, 470. Yeah, of course. Yes, dude. All these prices are hiked up because it's in Europe, dude. Duh. America is fucking cheaper, dude. Dude, come on, man. I don't give a fuck. Again. As long as I fucking have a better price than the rest of these foreigners, that's all that matters. Uh, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. It's, it's not... And you're like these motherfuckers. They're, they're talking. <laughs> hey. Oh. All I'm saying is, I'm not going to buy a PS5 until they make it smaller. I could have told you that at the beginning of the fucking, fucking thing, dude. <laughs> and I'm not going to fucking buy $500 worth of fucking, like, fuck that, dude. No. Uh, if I'm you. happy with my PC, and I'm happy with my fucking Switch. I'm good. Oh. I'm good. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, well, fuck you. Uh, Sony, cheers. Fuck you, too. For, for <laughs> finding a way to make more money than the rest of us. That's all that matters. Yeah. It's economics, bro. All right. Kiki's trying to be smarter than us. Fuck you, Kiki. All right. Indie Phantom. <laughs> Indie Phantom says it takes three years and shit. Dude, you mean college to know that shit. Yes. <laughs> ah, oh, man. Come yeah, on, man. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> all right. We're going to get over this wokery. So we're going to start mm -hmm. again with guess what? The new mm -hmm. movie, Halloween Ends. Uh. That's gonna debut October the fourteenth in theater. Has just been announced that it will debut on Peacock on the same day. And Kike, <laughs> it's like three or four bucks to have Peacock. You telling me it's cheaper to pay for a four dollar <laughs> app or five dollar app uh, uh, yeah. to watch a movie that's coming out in theaters, or you're gonna spend like yeah. twenty five dollars for a ticket or some bullshit? Yeah. I'll tell you why, because like the fucking app will fucking get your card and it'll charge you for the next month and you're too stu fucking no, stupid no, to hey, remind yourself to cancel hey. the fucking like, thing. Hey, everybody's <laughs> smart. I said Google to tell me to remind me, remember to cancel the porn subscription. And I'm exactly. like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. She remembers. So I do it. But sometimes people are like, hey, shut the fuck up, Google. No, no, no. That's my alarm, actually. I wake up to like, <laughs> remember to cancel this. Remember to cancel that. <laughs> and so that's the first thing I hear, and I do it right away. Hey, dude, I mean. The bright light of your phone in your eyes, it wakes you the fuck up. Oh, I know that. That's why I'm trying not to fucking look at my phone that much. You still do, you nerd. I still do. <sighs> Anyways, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody, we're going to get to download this shit right away. That's what I'm trying to say. All right, we're moving on. Gomer, you probably like that bullshit. Where we go? Let's move on, Kike. Because guess what? We're not done what? with the horror shit. There's actually more horror shit. The woke ass wokery that is the Hellraiser on Hulu, Kike, mm -hmm. has gotten a teaser trailer. Finally. Oh, um, yeah. You understand what this means? In this teaser trailer, they show the female pinhead in the background through the, yeah, through yeah, the yeah. letters. And it's coming out October the 7th. And that is less than a month and a half away. And I don't understand why we still don't get a full trailer and we just get this Volkery. That is really weird. You know what? I mean, like, I like the 
the Hellraiser fucking like movies, but because it's so weird, it's more of a different kind of fucking like you know like horror movie. It's more about dimensional fucking beings than like it is oh, interdimensional it's a monster or a demon. You know, like it's an interdimensional fucking being. And all they do is torture shit, or they're just fucking weird as fuck, you know? Like, they're, it's a different dimension, it's a different kind of thing. Um, and then they did this, and I was thinking, well, I mean, they're changing it to a girl, so is that gonna be fucking that, def- that different? If it's a girl? I really want them to fucking milk the shit out of that. Like, I want a guy getting pegged with a fucking dick with needles and shit. Holy shit, you, know, you better come the fuck down, you dumb son I'm of a bitch. I'm just saying, bro. You know, like, you want to push it or not? Let's fucking do it, man. Like, you want to fucking give it a different kind of fucking, like, thing? A little fucking little book, you know? Let's do it. I want them to do that. I'm being hopeful here. I don't know if it's going to suck or not, but I'm just saying. And, and, yeah, it is weird that they haven't given us a full trailer. Maybe the movie really sucks. If they fucking do like they already tried different fucking like editors to fucking do a fucking like trailer, they're gonna be like, sorry man, I can't make it better. It just really fucking sucks. You know? I know. I just think like like why did you have to be like that? Uh, dude, if you want to make a strong woman, you didn't have to make her pinhead. You could have made the other character that pin, that she finds the box and shit. But I just don't nail know. hole. <laughs> Everything nail Every, hole. Number one, nobody wants remakes. Stop. Torturing yeah. us by destroying yeah. the shit from oh our past. God, yeah. Nobody will That's make true. new things. You know what? Even if it's woke as fuck, I might actually like it if it's brand new and I've never seen it before. But when you're yeah. destroying the things that we grew up with, that's what pisses me off. Like, stop fucking bringing in your bullshit into, into the shit I grew up with. Make your own stuff. And, and you know what? Like I said, like the prey, even though it was Predator, it was brand new. And I ended up liking it. Well, it was a new perspective of, of the vision of that fucking type of... Uh, this isn't a perspective. This is all fucking bullshit. He can't. They're going to gender well, swap yeah. it. Uh, well, we, well, well, we don't know. That's lesbians. what we're fucking talking about it. We really don't know where they're bringing well, yeah, this right. in. There is no trailer, so we don't know. they haven't fucking given us enough fucking information to, for us to fucking give us a, an opinion. But anyways, it's it's just... I don't know, man. It is... Have you ever heard of this? The controversy um, is like probably Hollywood is being not woke. He, they're being like us. They're being assholes. They're like, why am I giving children to a woman? And uh, they're gonna be like talking all the time and be like, eh, it doesn't matter if the movie sucks. There's a bunch of people that are gonna go watch it. I don't know, man. It's I don't know. I just I, know. I find it fucking weird that the movie is a month and a half away, and this is what we get for the first trailer. It's just oh, the, by the name. Way, of Hellraiser and the image of her being pinhead. Like, I don't know. It's just stupid. <laughs> Fuck this. We're moving on, Kiki. I'm mad. Okay, well. I but was we're gonna not ask done. Where is it going to come out? But okay. October 7th on Hulu. On Hulu. Okay, yeah, yeah. of course. Okay. October 7th on Hulu. And we're, gonna, right. we're not done with the wokery, fellas. Mm-hmm. We're not done. <laughs> fellas. <laughs> yeah, fellas. <laughs> All right, we're going, we're going real American here. Yeah, wow, wow, wow. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thanks for right. you reminded me. Yeah, me too. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, we're not done with the wokery. There was, there was a... there, there, hey, yeah. We're not done with the wokery. <laughs> okay, just guess what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry about all that shit. We just made a bunch of noises. Oh, uh, woke ass Umbrella Academy Kike yeah. has been canceled. Season four will be the last. And I wonder why. Maybe because some little girl decided to fuck up the show by turning herself into a man and shit. Kike. I'm just guessing. I'm just guessing. I don't know if that's why they did it, but I'm just I'm just throwing something out there. Don't try to call me a racist. I'm just saying. Maybe that's what they think, you know? No, I think what the what happens is that, like, what ha- happened is that, like, all these producers and directors and all these people were like, oh, shit. No, Kike, no, shit. Kike. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. Here let we me go. finish. All right, I'm going to let you rant. So we're like, go, so we're oh, like, shit. Oh, oh, shit. She just changed her sex. 
Do you think we're gonna offend her if 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 we if we, if we keep her as a girl? I mean, we should rewrite the whole thing, right? Yeah, 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 yeah we can do that. I mean, after all, after all, I mean, she's an actress. She's gonna fucking like do whatever we write, right? It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine, dude. She's a fucking actress. It, can you be someone else than you are? So that you can fit the character that we need in our show? No? No? Okay, then I guess you're not fit for this fucking character. But that's because not what they did. Fulfill. They changed the entire exactly. show because she changed her sex. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. And it's canceled Every now. I wonder why. I wonder why. Saying. You want to know why? It's because the real fans, the fans that grew up with the actual comic book and know the lore, were pissed. That's like just because one of these dumb motherfuckers, one of these woke ass motherfuckers, wants to change their Ooh. lives, the whole show is gonna change. The whole comic book, the the lore, everything is gonna be different just because somebody wants to be different. Fuck you. This is something that oh. this goes back to like the shit I always say. This is something that we love. Why don't you make something new, little girl? If you want to be a boy, that's fine with me. I accept it. But fuck you. If you're in a show and you're playing a girl, you better put on a wig and keep playing that girl. Fuck you. We're not gonna change that's the entire storyline for you. Fuck that. That's what I said. That's fuck exactly that. what I said. Fucking what Netflix. I'm saying is like people were trying not to get cancel or offend anyone else that was like thinking over Netflix their fucking heads up. or anything they like fucked that. up they fucked up yes they did I would have asked I mean, we're not going to change the, the executive producer and director and all this shit i was like we already have everything done what do you want to do you want to stay and con con continue with your character being a girl or we're going to replace or the bitch. we're going to have cast to fucking you. change the we're going to recast yeah, you we yeah, exactly. I what they happens. Give her, they gave her the option. They they bent over. They said, we're woke as fuck now, Netflix. You fuck I Chappelle. think people are too fucking afraid to ask the question. That's what I think. People are too they fucking need, afraid to ask the question. They need to hire me. I'll ask the questions. Hey, you know what? We don't want no lesbians well, in this I'm shit. Exactly or do you want to play straight or not? <laughs> I mean, that's all I'm saying. We don't want no well, fucking little girl turn to a little boy. There's a little girl right here. So are you, do you want to keep playing a little girl and get money? Or do you want to fuck off? That's all I'm going to ask. Look, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's unfortunate the way that we think as a society to not try to fucking, like, offend people. That's why we need more comedians and people, like, to do kind of these fucking conversations so that we cannot be offended when we say something fucked up. Hey, dude, we can be like, hey, wait, calm down, dude. Chill, bro. This is why, this is, this is why. Oh, shit, I'm sorry, bro. I didn't know that because I don't ever talk to the other fucking groups. I never talk to each other. I don't know what's good or bad, you know. Instead of fucking being in a community and you know, everyone talking to each other, we can be in a net, uh, level fucking community or or for fucking society, man. But I know. Well, I'm done talking about this little little girl who turned into a boy and shit because she fucked the show over. This guy shit was a good show written by a badass fucking rock artist and she fucked it up for them and now they're canceled. Yeah. She wants to fucking do her own life. Fuck you, do your own life, but, but commit to the character you're playing, bitch. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Andy <laughs> Fenton, don't worry about it. Uh, YouTube censors us. He said he didn't get a notification for our stream, and that's why he's late. Mm. Yeah, dude. It's okay. It's happening to no all worries. of them. They, they, they're fucking us over, but we're not done talking. Don't worry, uh, Indy Fenton, we're barely getting started. You can watch this later, the, the beginning when you missed uh, tomorrow when we posted and shit, because I'm drunk. <laughs> hey, fuck you, Kike. We're getting to some it's really a, dude. I have to work hey, on that. Kike. Too, oh shit, Kike. We just got a subscriber. My good. Jesus Christ, you fucking scare Holy the shit out of me. Shit, Kike. My heart is pounding. Uh, hey, whoever good. you are, you dumb son of a bitch. Cheers. <laughs> Unsubscribe. <laughs> you called him a son, dumb son of a bitch. Hey, fuck you. I'm celebrating him. Hey. You didn't even cheer. Cheer to that guy, whoever the fuck I, he is. I always fucking drink and cheer, bro. But cheer right you now. You probably didn't see me because you went like this. Your POV was uh, on the wall. Hey, fuck the you. Wall. We'll do it again for this guy. Cheers, new guy. I did it right now. All right, all right, 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 right. Hey, hey Indy Fantasy says the bean count increases. <laughs>
<laughs> hey, cheers, right. Indy Phantom. We love Canadians. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, Kike, you're pissing me off. You, you, yeah, let, why? No, because you're, 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 you're fucking me up off track. All right, let's get into this. Let's get into the Wolkery, Kike. All right, let's get All into right. it. All right, let's get into uh, uh, there's a new company over there from Japan yeah. and shit yeah. who does. Mm -hmm. Who, who's fucking up because they could be making entertainment systems and and fucking everyone over Nintendo and Sony and and Microsoft, okay. but they don't. They choose not to. And now, apparently, they're adapting Sega Studios is adapting a Comic Zone movie, a video game adaptation of a show. No, no, of a of a game where where in the game it were an artist drawing the the drawings and then it would take you into the drawings of the comic book and you would fight through the pages of the comic book it was badass Kike. it's actually a classic awesome show like game to play for the sega because okay. no one no one ever had ever done that like you go through every scene like pretend you're reading a comic book the character you get to move through each thing and then jump to the next page and do some shit and then jump down <clears throat> through the scenes you know, and you're playing out, yeah. and the characters every time they speak, the words come out like if you're reading a comic book. You're uh, that's basically an RPG, but okay, proceed. Okay, well, this is what this game is, and it's badass. Well, they're <laughs> they're making it into a movie, Kike Sega. They're producing it, money, and going into the studios. And guess what, Kike? Uh, uh, it's gonna. It they're walking the fuck out of this. Yeah. Why? Um, apparently, instead of being just a comic book guy or a person who's, it looks like a woman actually who's drawing this comic book, instead of being that, it's going to be a fucking a comic book creator and his young queer writer of color who they all get sucked into the final issue of their fucking popular woke ass series. And they have to put aside their differences because one is a redneck and the other one's fucking woke as fuck. And uh, and then they have to stop a supervillain comic book guy. Fuck you, Sega. Stick to your Sonic movies and stop spending your money on bullshit. It's all I'm going to say, Kike. You can say what you want. You lost me, man. Completely, man. Like <laughs> You started talking about a company and then you said that there was Sega acquired? And then, then you're talking about comic books. <laughs> and then you Sega is know. making a movie about a fucking video game they made in the 90s for the Sega Genesis. Because yeah, they, yeah, yeah. That's how they want to make money. And this game yeah. is fucking cool. And the fucking, they're walking the fuck out of it and making it lame. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> did you play the game? Yeah, I did. It's fucking badass. That's what I was saying. Right, good. Can, this is the kind well, of game you would like, you pussy. Well, I mean, I would start saying like, well, you know, have you have you ever played this game? Well, guess what happened? I have played it. It's badass, and Sega's gonna woke the fuck up. Indie Phantom, have you ever played fucking... this? Yeah, hey, fuck you. Indie Phantom has a Sega. Indie Phantom, have you ever played this fucking game? Let us know right now in the comments. Uh, but I, yeah, I'm fuck you, KK. You never played this. <laughs> no, you. I grew up in Mexico. The, the the fucking console I had was a fucking Nintendo from the 80s, 1985. Yeah. I mean, I didn't get a fucking Super Nintendo until the fucking 90s, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, fuck you. We're gonna move on uh, from this shit. All right, That's, fuck Sega. <laughs> no, we're not done talking about Sega, KK. Mm -hmm. Fuck you. Mm -hmm. Guess what? Because we got All so right. Sonic. Three leaks for the movie. Did you see the second one, Kika? I know you saw that. You finally saw the first one. Did you see the second one? They're kids' yeah, movies. They're kids' movies, too. but they're entertaining. I know. That's why I can't see them. I have to be really fucking drunk or hungover. Or I saw a second you know? one. I mean, like I'm telling you, they're entertaining. And and as far as kid levels, the entertainment factor is going up as the movies progress. Really fucking, yeah, yeah. It has to be a Saturday morning, and I have to be fucking hungover, yeah. and I have hey, to I drink a beer. And then watch fucking like fucking Ghostbusters and shit and fucking Elf. Yeah. Let's talk about this fucking supposed spoiler. I know, I know, I know. All right. We already know, at least I do, because I saw the second one. And I'm telling you, the second one is more entertaining than the first one. So I'm right. kind of excited about the third one. I think it'll be more entertaining, even more. Uh, uh, but 
We already know that Idris Elba is Knuckles. Because he was in the second part. Well, in the third part, <laughs> yeah. we saw the end of credit scenes, Kike, and we spoiled it here yeah. on our channel months ago. Uh, the end of yeah. credit scenes, and it was Shadow the Hedgehog. They're waking him, him the fuck up from this cryogenesis chamber. And Shadow the Hedgehog is going to be voiced by none other than Gore the God Butcher sucks ass Christian Bale. <laughs> Wait. Christian Bell? Yeah, he's gonna voice Shadow oh. the Hedgehog, the Black Sonic. Why with the is red he hair. fucking doing these movies now? Because like, he's like going down in the quality of his movies, is it? Doesn't it look like that? Oh, KK, we just got another subscriber! Hey, good. All right. <laughs> All right, right. That is the chairs, nice, you dumb nice, son nice, of a bitch. Cheers, cheers, <laughs> cheers, cheers, we love cheers. you. Again, dumb son of a bitch. Hey, Come on. Hey, okay, so Christian Bale is Shadow the Hedgehog because they already have another British motherfucker. <laughs> they have Idris yeah, Elba. Yeah. Idris Elba is Knuckles, yeah, so might yeah, as well yeah. get another Britain motherfucker, uh, uh, Christian Bale to be Shadow. You get? Hey, why are they doing that to video games? I don't know. It's weird. I mean, I you know, it's so weird. I'm tripping out, man. I'm as long as the not... voices fit. I mean, look, I'm not. I'm not gonna lie to you. I still don't like Idris Elba voicing Sonic. I saw part two. And I didn't like it because the whole movie, every time he, he spoke, I was like, that's Idris Elba. Idris Elba. Idris Elba. I could never really? be, you thought that? I, I could never be like, that's Knuckles. That's Knuckles. I could never change my mind. <laughs> Wait, it's, a, it's a very different name, too. Like, yeah, yeah. This is Idris no, 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 Elba. Because no. I, know, I, know I know who voices Sonic. Yeah. But that yeah. guy even tweaks his voice a little. So of he course. doesn't. Everyone, yes, everyone that does that. Idris Elba doesn't. It sounds just like him, just him, and it kind of takes me out of it. Uh, I don't know if Christian Bale, that Pontius ass motherfucker, is going to end up doing <laughs> his own voice, his exact own voice for this character, Pontius. for a character. Yeah. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 I'm just saying. Um, but apparently, the plot also says that they're going to all team up, these four motherfuckers, and they're going to team up, because guess what? Jim Carrey... Even though he said he didn't know he was going to come back because he thought his character died, they said that Jim Carrey's coming back as Robotnik. <laughs> He's like, well, I have nothing doing right now, so I'll do it. Yeah, 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 yeah pretty much. That he's coming back as Robotnik, and I hope yeah. to God that he's finally fat, like in the, like, the games, because this whole time he's been Wait, skinny. Wait, did he gain weight on the second movie? No, he has not. Just uh... In the second movie, he just looks like he's wearing the clothes. And he finally right, has the yeah. mustache. So he's starting yeah. to look like him. So I just yeah. hope in the third movie he gets fat because I see it. Like, I didn't like it at first, but I see what they're doing. He's transitioning into what he's supposed to look like. So I'm hoping yeah. that he's fat in the third one. I don't know. That's just what I'm hoping. It's, you know what? Knowing Jim Carrey, he'll be like, fuck yes, I'll do it. Of course. You know? Of course. He's yeah. an awesome motherfucker. But in, in yeah. the story, they say that he's going to have the robot Sonic. He's gonna make a robot fucking Sonic, and he's gonna oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's gonna make the robot Sonic, and he then then these motherfuckers are gonna have a hard time fighting him, and so then they're gonna like open up another wormhole because the whole movie's that like they open up a hole and another creature from another universe comes in, and so they're gonna bring in the fucking uh, Amy. And Big the Fat Cat, or Fat the Big Cat, or whatever his name is. Big the Cat. <laughs> big cannot, the Cat. The Big I Cat. I cannot relate to this at all. <laughs> like, all I never had a second that, like, Genesis. A bunch of fucking creatures are coming in and I'm shit. Just saying, I'm just spoiling the movie. I don't really give a fuck. Because I'm confused, too. I never played far enough. No, I'm being honest. I never... I never played uh -huh. far enough to know who the fuck this purple yeah. cat and this little pink girl is. They're probably woke yeah, us. Yeah, I'm, I'm lost. I need They're, to ask. I mean, yeah, I'm, I mean, I need to call my brother after this. I, I, I only mean, know these three more. characters. I don't know this bullshit. Uh, but I guess. Hey, hey Gomer Cow says the Mega Man is better than Sonic. It is fuck Mega. Fuck yes, dude. Yes, Mega Man way better than Sonic. Bro. I hope they never try to do way live better. action or anything of Mega Man because they're going to fuck it up. Uh, They'll fuck it up. I think they did a cartoon, man. No, I don't care. They better 90s. not touch a live action. They'll fuck it up. They'll fuck it up. 
fuck it up. Well, I mean, yeah, that's why we keep it like as our own little fucking thing to fucking go back and like, hey, remember that? Anyways, anyways, we're gonna move on from this Bro. bullshit, this this Sega Wokery bullshit. Kick it, we're gonna yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, kick it. We're, we're gonna talk about like, hey, fuck you, you think you're me? <laughs> what? You can bear me? No, I'm just, no, I'm just like. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Hey, fuck you. All right. You made me make fun of. Hey, you wear glasses, you pussy. Yeah, I know. I do. Yeah, well, I was born I with this. Him. I was born with this. You got a problem with it? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? What, what, what are you talking about, you pussy? <laughs> Anyways. Are you done? Are you fucking done, bro? I have been, I've been trying to go to the next segment. You're fucking me over. You're sabotaging exactly. your channel That's like you always like. do, you pussy. Yeah, and, uh, you sound like a fucking like happy dog. <laughs> okay, anyways. You're making fun uh, of my disabilities, really? <laughs> hey, dude, calm down. You're not disabled, you ass. Hey, just I'm not going to fucking talk about my disabilities on the fucking air, you son of a bitch. <laughs> You better quit this shit, DK, because you're going to really piss me off. <laughs> Let's talk about this, man. Come on. All right. All right. <laughs> Fuck you. You better fucking quit your bullshit. I'm not playing. All right. Good, good, good. <laughs> Guess what, DK? They're about to ruin <laughs> our fucking childhood again, DK. No. Oh, no. Yes, again. yes, yes. Because none other <laughs> than the fucking yeah. Cobra Kai creators. <sighs> Are making yeah. a Ferris Bueller's Day Off sequel slash spin <laughs> spinoff. Remember, spinoff. Yeah, the people who are making Cobra Kai have, I know, I know, I know. have been giving liberties yeah. to make a sequel slash uh -huh. fucking spinoff of Ferris Bueller's Day Off, a classic. Yeah. And guess yeah, what? Yeah, the yeah. movie is going to be called. Yeah. yeah. It's called Sam and Victor's Day Off, and it's going to follow the valets who stole the car and show what they did oh. when they stole the car for those couple of hours while these motherfuckers were skipping school. Uh. <clears throat> okay. First of I, all, I, how I, the yeah. fuck are they going to find actors that look exactly like them? Because if they try to get the same actors, they're old as fuck. And you know what? I'm pretty sure this skinny white guy is dead. Because he overdosed on drugs or something. <laughs> you don't see him anymore. No, he's dead. He's dead. And in that oh, back, he, really? and you know what? That black guy might be in jail. He might be in jail. I don't know. But I'm just saying, I mean, where the fuck are they going to find actors who look exactly like them, but younger? to play these guys. That lady is dead for sure, bro. Like, or in jail. Like, she's going right into fucking that guy's fucking crotch right there. Well, it doesn't matter. Phoebe Cates is hot as <laughs> fuck. Fuck you, Kike. She's going like, mm. fuck you. Right. I, don't, Anyways. That, I don't know if that's Phoebe Cates. I might be fucking up. It doesn't matter. <laughs> what do you think of this yeah. bullshit Ferris Bueller shit? Man, like I said, and I'm agree with you. I'm agreeing with you. Like the whole like, let's do a remake of that movie. It was great, right? Yeah. It, this isn't a remake. The it's a spin-off sequel. It's a, it's like let's talk about oh, what happened the to these characters. Well, yeah. well... What do you think? I don't. I. I don't. Okay. Uh, I'm, and it's I'm the you know what? High fucking producers and shit, right? It would work so, if it didn't make. If it made more sense, because how? Look, yeah. you're talking about two characters at the same time yeah. as these guys were. If they find these guys, if they actually find mm -hmm. these actors, they're old as fuck. What are they gonna do? De-age them to tell the story? No, I don't I think the, that's why, like a side story, or like a, the movie is a... about what happened when they stole the car. Mm -hmm. What did they do when they stole the car? That's what the movie is about. So, what are they gonna do about the actors? Is it that good that we need to fucking see a fucking like prequel? No, is it that like is it's it that good enough? Good? It's legendary enough that we don't need anything more from it. Yeah, that was a perfect story. Leave it alone. Just. Let me ask okay. you, Kike. Would yeah. you ever want to see a sequel or spinoff of the movie Titanic? Fuck no. Exactly. <laughs> that movie's a legend. That movie is awesome. But I don't want to see another one, a yeah, sequel or a spinoff. Wow. That's the same thing as Ferris Bueller 
why the fuck do you want to see a spinoff about some guys who's and not only that, like he's just stupid. Deal. But this is gonna fail. This is gonna fail. I'm calling it. I'm just weirded out that you fucking called Titanic though. You yeah. want to change that? Hey, fuck you. Uh, Leo was amazing, and Kate Winslet was a fucking goddess. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that bitch. Anyways, fuck um, you, no, fuck, no, no, Titanic. Leave it alone. Nobody wants to see any more of that shit. Um, but anyways, Ferris Bueller. No, yeah, I know Ferris Bueller. Uh, leave it alone. It's okay. Right. It's not that big that we want to see another one. What has happened? I mean, you've been we've been waiting for this shit. Those are the fucking Star Wars fucking like guys. Hey, Gomer, you better start. Del- you better stop deleting your comments. This is message retracted. You pussy. <laughs> <laughs> you know what are you talking about? Hey, Gomer. <laughs> I love you, man. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. Hey, hey, we're moving on from this Ferris Bueller crap. We're going to be move on to some more Wokery and get ready for these. You, get, you better be a pussy oh. about it because ever since David Zaslav. better be a pussy about it? Okay. Yeah. Ever since David Zaslav took over Warner mm-hmm. and he was given the job of taking a fucking, uh, uh, what, what, what is it called? A fucking a, a broke ass, uh, in depth company and try to make it go fucking up and shit. Uh, uh, uh yeah, yeah. He yeah. has figured out that it is supposedly this was rolling around in the words and shit. We just repeat what everyone says. We don't know. We don't know nobody. We're not famous. <laughs> we don't have money to pay motherfuckers to go spy on motherfuckers and shit. <laughs> I'm just yeah. saying, I'm just repeating what other people are saying. Supposedly, the shit they're saying yeah. is that David Zaslav, uh, excuse me, has figured out that fucking Warner slash Discovery only mm-hmm. has enough money to release three movies this year. He can. All right. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 and unfortunately, those fucking movies are fucking, uh, uh, I'm, I'm trying to fix everything while I'm talking, but it's all right because I'm all fucked up and I don't give a shit about nothing or no one. <laughs> hey, get, get fucking Black you. Adam. Yeah, yeah. Those, oh, the only three movies they're releasing yeah. this year because they only have enough money. They're broke as fuck. They're broke. Warner Discovery is broke and they merged with a fucking Discovery merged with a broke ass company and they're just trying to. Bring it back up to make some profit. They know they merged with a failure already. And I'm hoping they, they succeed because I have stock in these assholes. Um, <laughs> it's true. Again, it's true. I and said, we're on the economics, the basis of economics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I want college, them to bro. succeed. David Zaslav, you better fucking make Warner discover your success, you fat son of a bitch. Uh, the only movies Man. they can afford to put out is three movies this year for the rest of this year. And mm-hmm. it's going to be Black Adam because they promised our future commander in no, chief, no. and it's big black. That's Cop. the best fucking. fucking they're going to make so much movie out of um, yeah, 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 yeah. money out of that movie. Black it, Adam. It, they're, that's that's why they want to fucking put this one out first. That's the only reason. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. The yeah, only yeah. reason. Yeah. It's the fucking rock, bro. The rock is you the know? shit. Exactly. It's the shit. Looks uh, good. It's the best fucking looking movie in the trailers than anyone else. If they yeah, had yeah, fucking yeah. trailers. Yeah, yeah. Marvel looks like pussies next to the trailers <laughs> we've seen from The Rock fucking shit up. Boom. <laughs> he's like Superman, but he's black. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, not, yeah. No uh, just, oh, yeah, I'm yeah. just describing it. Don't be a pussy. All right, all right, all right. All right. Anyways, Black Adam and, and they, they, they speculate or there's rumors that Henry Cavill actually came back in August to re to film an end of credit scenes for Black Adam, and they're saying that David Zaslav has signed him, and that it's a secret for now. They're, they want to just spo- they want everyone to see it in the end of credits, so that everyone can go crazy. And after Black Adam, everyone's gonna eat up everything Warner Discovery makes because they know we're gonna get. Yeah. We're gonna get the Rock versus Henry Cavill. I mean, that's a great fucking idea. That's fucking amazing. But there's, it's a secret that, and it's a rumor. It's true. It's a rumor. It's a rumor. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's a rumor. Because uh, that would be the perfect fucking like way to get people back into DC. Yeah. The only thing that 
DC is holding up. Uh, the only thing that is holding up DC is Batman. No, that's it. Uh, secretly, they keep saying that Batfleck is back. That's why they they delete it. That's why they they say the main reason apparently wasn't the wokery because there was a bunch of transvestites and gays and lesbians in Batgirl. There really was. There really was. I'm not gonna lie. We talked about it. It's the truth. Our yeah. Actors are yeah. there. The actors are there. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, that's not why he got canceled. Apparently, he got canceled because David Zaslav was mad that the Batman in that movie is not Ben Affleck. The Batman is fucking uh, uh, Michael Keaton. And the rumor is that David Zaslav doesn't want... He wants Affleck back. That's the rumor. That's the rumor. Well... He wants I mean, the I'm Snyderverse. Not... He wants the Snyderverse. But we don't yeah, know. They but... say that when, when Black Adam comes out, if we see Henry Cavill as Superman, then we know the Snyderverse... And yeah. David Zaslav restored the Snyderverse. That's all I'm going to say. If we see in the end of credits of Black Adam, we see Henry Cavill. The Snyderverse is back, and David Zaslav did it. He said, fuck this, whatever Walter Hamada bullshit he was doing. Michael Keaton, we paid him money. He's old as fuck, and he doesn't give a damn. We're not going to show him as Batman. We're going to go with goddamn the Snyderverse. I hope that's what he does. This is what happens when you get another movie and another movie and another movie that is not related to the fucking same fucking universe. He's bringing it this back what to what it's there related. is. There is a director that comes out with a good, really good fucking movie, like the Joker, or and the he's Batman. still employed, and they're employed. Exactly. Warner, and, Warner locked them and, down too. They're all locked down into, and they want to make a musical about. Well, that's Todd Phillips. Make... That's Todd Phillips. Yeah, exactly. And He's then they're fucking, fucking, fucking it up. And this shit happens, you know, when there's yeah, nothing is consistent. Can. But if yeah. they restore the Snyderverse, Zack Snyder is in charge. He's the Kevin Feige, pretty much. Yeah. He's going to be in yeah, charge yeah. of the but outline. He's making bad decision, decisions in, this, in, in the sense that, like, he's getting all these actors. He's not introducing his own fucking, like, if he was smart enough, he would be like, okay, so this universe is going to go into this other one, and I'm going to fucking get in there, and I'm going to get all these fucking, I'm going to fuck, a, as a writer, I'm going to yeah. get everything, and I'm going to fucking, like, conquer all this other fucking bullshit that you're doing, because a uh, musical? Give me a fucking break, bro. A uh, musical? It is ridiculous, but we'll see. Uh, yeah. We're going to see what we're not talking about directly Joker Part 2, but we're going to see where Joker Part 2 is. But, like, what I'm trying to say is David Zaslav, people are picturing him as a bad guy, but he's just, he's doing the right thing. And the other two movies they're releasing this year, it's not a DC movies. Another one's like, oh, dear, uh, darling, or some shit. Don't worry, darling, the one with the, the Florence Pugh and the, the fucking, uh, not, uh, what's his name, Harry Styles and shit. They're in it. And they'll leave you wild. They'll leave you wild. No, dude, dude, that movie's going to be sick. It's a thriller. In a mind fuck. It's one of those movies. And another movie they're actually going to release in theaters. They only got mo enough money to release three movies to promote them and, and spread them through all America. The other one is House Party. A remake. The movie House Party with Kid in Play. With a fucking top. But it's not that. They're like woke oh, as... They're like new dude. woke as fuck. They're probably going to be bisexuals. But they're still blacks and shit. So it's still House Party. It's still House Party. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm just... That's what I've seen. I mean, that's what I've seen. That's yeah, what I've seen. I don't know if it's true. I don't I know if it's true. I just, like, picture a kid in plane and you say, like, but woke, and I was like, whoa. Yeah, they don't yeah. have the hair like that. They don't have the hair like yeah, the yeah. T-Town right. I but mean, anyways, like, that's cool. Uh, back to this. Uh, all these other movies got pushed back because they're only, they're only going to release one DC movie for the rest of the year, and it's going to be Black Adam because they promise uh, Dwayne Johnson's cock is so big they don't want to get fucked by it so they said we'll put your movie out sir okay don't fuck us and so they put his movie out and ever He's since that happened man. they pushed aquaman all the way back to december of 2023 a whole year it was going to come out this december they pushed it's already yeah. done the movie's done the movie, uh, special because... effects everything and you know what the director uh he i guess he this is his fuck you to warner discovery but at yeah. the same time, it's like, dude, this company doesn't have money to put your movie out, to advertise it, to put commercials on TV all the time. They don't have the money. So they're going to save you until next December 
when they can make some money off of the rock uh, that's what i think they're doing david zoslov's trying to think mm. bro he's doing it for them uh but anyways the director which is james wan the horror director who's been directing the aquaman movies this guy made all the little sinister movies and shit uh the asian guy he's been directing the aquaman movies he's put out some uh, concept art of what's going to be in the movie and it's like some crazy battles and sh- underwater and then Aquaman fighting like some like shark people and a tentacle octopus lady. And it looks fucking badass. <laughs> <A> lady. <laughs> That's all they're gonna say. I don't know if the movie's gonna be good, but I'm just saying the artwork looks badass. It takes it's just like yeah, I mean like at the end and of the day. He says these the are gonna artwork. be scenes. These are gonna be scenes in the movie, bro. I mean, like, that would be great if you, they look at that guy in the fucking corner, bro. That looks amazing. Look, looks all I'm like gonna say fucking... is the part one. Yes, Aquaman was not an amazing fucking movie. No, it was but, shit. But act three it was pure shit. Act three was literally Lord of the Rings. It was all these like these two big. It was like a war, a one side versus another side running towards each other. Yeah, and it was like crazy creatures and shit. And I loved it. Part the act, the last part of the movie, I loved it. It was amazing. Um, the whole movie sucked up until that part. And I'm just gonna say these drawings. If this is what's gonna be in the movie, I think I'm gonna see yes. the movie at least one time. You know what needs to happen? What? Marvel needs to acquire DC <laughs> to make all this thing like fucking Look, real, bro. They might have been able to if they hadn't have killed yeah. Robert Downey. Because from here on now, I can tell you, yeah. Disney, Marvel, Lucas, Star Wars, everything's gonna start losing money from here on. I promise you, it's their their, yeah. their needle's gonna go up. And if David Zaslav does it right, their needle will go up. And I think he's going the right way. He's not like, look, we have good movies. And yes, the director's pissed off, and he's like, oh, I'm gonna show some art. Fuck it. You push my, my movie a year back. But 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 yeah. David Zaslav being smart says, I don't have money to really show the commercials on every fucking channel because your movie's amazing. So I'm going to wait until we save some money to fucking really advertise the shit out of your movie. That's what, just what I think he's doing. <clears throat> because they're not doing Man. reshoots. They're not, and it's not canceled. It was pushed back yeah. a whole year. That's all I'm saying. That means they want to, but they don't have money to do it. bro. Well, I mean. And they don't so... want to lose The Rock. So they promised him his movie will be released. I think his movie is going to be the, the jumping fucking point the to rock, their yes. fucking success. Yeah, the rock, yes. that's why they fucking did it. I don't think it's because like, no, 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 we just promised it to him. No, it's not because of that. It's just a uh, fucking like static. Like they fucking know that this movie is going to make a lot of money. And that's the best fucking movie they've made so far. Yeah. They saw the, all, the, all, the, all the fucking movies. Come on, man. <laughs> They're not stupid. These fucking people are out there because they know shit, dude. Yeah, And yeah, yeah. Uh, that's why this movie is going to be great. And I think it's going to be a good movie, bro. Like, The Rock does yeah, some yeah. crappy movies some here and there. But, you know, at the end of the day. Black like, Adam, I think Black Adam fucking... will be good. It'll yeah, be, it'll exactly. Be good. But I'll tell and, you what, and, and... what wasn't good. What wasn't good was the Batgirl movie. Because they actually canceled that and they said, we're not going to push it back. It's canceled. And it's, guess what? It's, it's, it's a low budget fucking show. No, it wasn't. It was like $90 million. It was close to $100 million. It was close to 100 but it was $90 million, they say. But the director's... I bet the projection looked like shit. Like the whole the whole thing, the end product looks like shit. Yeah, that's what they're saying. That's what they're saying that it that it looked yeah. like a TV show. David Zaslav says exactly. looks like a TV show. But the directors are pissed and they're saying that when they went back, like when, after the movie got canceled, that they went back to their ser- to the WB servers to try to get a yeah. copy of what they had worked on, that it was deleted and it was gone. Yeah, of course. I mean they're taking care of their fucking like shit, bro. It's theirs, it's their property. Basically, it is Warner's property. Yeah, like, I'm um, just like, like, what are you complaining about? You got paid, motherfucker. The point is, if I work for Marvel comic books and I draw a brand new Iron Man armor, they pay me for it, but I don't own it. So when I'm fired and I don't work there anymore or they cancel the comic book, they still yeah. own the design. 
Yeah. They don't, they don't have to sign a fucking contract. It doesn't matter to, if they ever to, show it. To use your art, you know. And they don't, if they don't want to show it, that they like, fuck all that shit. You still got paid. These motherfuckers are complaining. So it kind of pissed me off, Kike. I wanted to talk about that right now. But Warner <laughs> was hearing, uh, Discovery was hearing a lot of complaints from all these motherfuckers. And so they said, all right, we did take it from the servers. We didn't delete it. We have it. We're going to lock yeah. it up in the vault. With the Warner Brothers and the Warner Sisters, because nobody see. gives a shit about those monkey people. <laughs> nobody gives a shit about those assholes. A little poppy boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna lock them all up. They're gonna lock them up. <laughs> we don't give a shit about them. All right. Uh, but uh, before that, they promised them they're gonna the show anime. them. They're gonna show them an actual. Yeah. They're gonna show them the finished product. So everyone from the actors to the production to the crew and even these dumb. Some of the bitches that want to complain about getting paid and shit. Uh, but anyways, more than us, Kike, they want to complain, complain. I got paid more than these dumb sons of bitches who only have 371 <laughs> subscribers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And only four, of, <laughs> only four of them are watching them live and shit. <laughs> okay, but anyways, nah, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying the facts. Kike. We only state the facts in this All channel, right. Kike. Don't be a pussy. But anyways, these motherfuckers want to go ahead and fucking complain and shit. And so here we are. Uh, Warner said we're gonna show the movie to everybody who worked on it. So it, it, they oh, called it okay. a, a funeral, uh, uh, a funeral uh, showing or setting or whatever. The fuck they want to call it. But they showed it to all of them. Here, here's what you worked on, and after you watched it, we're gonna put it away forever. We're not gonna show it because it's lame as fuck. <laughs> that's what they say. But I mean, that's what I would have said. But anyways, I want to move on. Yeah. Sincerely, the Warner Brothers and the sisters who've been locked up in the tower all this time. Moving on, Kike, <laughs> to something yeah. that fucks me up completely. Oh, no, I don't want to think about that. Yeah, yeah you better start thinking about it, because guess what? Graphically? No. No. Apparently, I didn't know about this, but King yeah. Kong yeah. is uh open to the public or public domain. Oh yeah, because he's a 1930s fucking character, and anything that is a certain time of, certain type of age, like uh, if they're ancestors or whatever, like there's some fucking law out there that I like. It, 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 yeah, yeah, exactly. Like so many fucking people have lost the, I don't know, dead or whatever. Um, they have public domain. It's history. It's it's public domain. Like you can use it. I guess what? Basically. Yeah. Public yeah. domain. Is fucking saying uh, that King Kong is up for grabs, and guess yeah. who said, "I got gotcha. you." Disney he bought it. Disney Plus. Oh, good. I Disney mean, Plus is now making yeah. a King Kong series, <laughs> who is going to show the yeah. origins of King Kong and Skull Island. Nothing, nothing to do with what. Legendary Happen. and the yeah. MonsterVerse is doing. Legendary and the yeah. MonsterVerse are still doing Godzilla Kong Part 2. And they're still it was doing... Universal, wasn't it? It's Legendary. And I think it, is, it might be Universal. Oh. Uh, but it's... Le yeah. No, no, it's Legendary Pictures. No? I don't know who okay. distributes them. Right, I'm not, I'm not yeah, doing my yeah, research, yeah. Kiki. You should be doing that, you pussy. Know. Dude. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Anyways. The fucking... They... Fucking yeah. uh, uh, are doing their monster verse. They're doing Godzilla versus Kong Part Two, and they're doing a series on fucking. Uh, I think it's Netflix or Paramount or something. It's Paramount. Uh, they're doing a series also regarding to their universe, but Disney Plus is doing their own bullshit. How does that work? It's public domain. If we had so millions of dollars, oh, we could okay, make okay. a King Kong movie. You did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I get it. It's it's like it's like a legend. Now in like the jackal. In Anyone can do it now, can, as yeah, long yeah, as you yeah, have yeah. the money. Hey, Kiki, the I was mummy. thinking like we already have yeah. like a, a fucking bear suit, a white bear suit from me. Oh, Jesus like, Christ! If I order you a monkey you suit, that shit. Yeah, yeah. If I order you a monkey suit, we could do King okay. Kong versus the polar no. bear. I'm out. 
Hey, King Kong versus the polar bear, and they make oh, really thanks. good fucking King Kong masks now. If I'm in a suit and I'm throwing fucking barrels at you, I'm okay, but I'm out. I don't want to fucking do that shit. Do you think people are going to get confused about what the fuck you're watching when there's like one universe of monster giant kaijus and then another universe of Disney Kong over here? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do you think this is gonna fuck both companies Unless they over? Were born like five years from now, they're gonna be like, "Oh, there's a new movie. It's about a fucking gorilla. Never seen it. I don't want to read the news or the fucking like history fucking books." Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Kike, uh, let's move on from this wokery Disney <laughs> shit. Right. We're gonna move on to guess what? Some what? Mark, some MCU. We hope we don't get canceled. We're saying MCU. <laughs> yeah. But apparently, the mm -hmm. writer and director, Matt Shackman from WandaVision, has been yeah. tasked with directing the Fantastic Four for Marvel Studios. What Wait, do you think about that? He directed what? WandaVision. WandaVision? And he is going to be the guy who directs the Fantastic Four Whoa. movie. <laughs> For the MCU. Okay. You know what? It might work. Why? It might, it so, might work. So he can because... honey pot us throughout the movie. Put all these hints that are never going to go anywhere. Except to a guy whose name's Ralph Boner. Even though he looks from a... He looks like you. Oh, they're going to be... Oh, that's Wolverine. Wolverine. And then when we meet him, his name's going to be like... Yeah. Carl's Jr. That's going to yeah. be his fucking name instead of being like Logan and Wolverine. They're going to say, oh, he just looks like him, but he's Ralph Boner all over again, Kike. Yeah, fuck yeah, you. Yeah. And fuck this guy directed a Fantastic Four. I'm not going to be teased or cock fucking honey potted into another bullshit. Yeah. Okay. What, what do you got to say? So, okay. So um, I'm thinking... This is a director that started doing something in the Marvel fucking universe, starting as a fucking show, not even a movie, and he got upgraded to make an actual fucking movie. He doesn't have much to say on the story. He's just directing the fucking film. So I'm thinking he'll do a really fucking good job in enticing us to this fucking universe, which is the, the the Fantastic Four. We don't know anything about it in the Marvel universe, and yet they've been there for do a little not, bit. Do you not remember that show? How mad you were as the episodes yeah, progressed? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the cock teases, the all the cock teases. Feige. He's not it's writing writer. Fantastic Four. He's only exactly. directing He's it. directing, exactly. It can still he doesn't be have that ass. much for... That's what I'm saying. He directed it pretty good. As far as the fucking like show was, it was directed perfectly. But at the end of the day, I, well, I'll directed, give you that. I'll give you that. He's from, following a script that he needs to fucking follow in order for him to fulfill his job. And he can't job, change. You know? yeah, yeah. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Yes. Visually yeah, and the camera angles and the... Yeah, the yeah. weirdness about like changing it into a fucking show. She's going back into her mind. She's crazy. He's gonna do a great job in fucking Fantastic right. Four. Bro. We'll see. We'll see. But we're gonna move <laughs> on from this ass, All right? <laughs> and yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 Gomer. I, I I know about all that shit. We're gonna talk more about that when we're in the fucking in the boys after this shit. Uh, but guess what, DK? We're gonna be some what? more woke shit because they mm -hmm. finally showed and not. On purpose, because Walmart says we need to make money, and they put the fucking toys. Walmart always fucks up yeah, with yeah. that shit. Walmart said we need to make money, and for a, yeah. a, a cold hard thirty six dollars and ninety nine cents, which is basically thirty seven dollars and fucking thirty forty bucks. That's no, no, like at least fucking like no, no, it's not with taxes in in Texas taxes. I don't know what it is no, in the rest yeah, of the country. Yes, yeah, it's about thirty seven dollars and thirteen cents, Kike. All right, yeah, and yeah, I know yeah, yeah. I, when I go shopping, I fucking know how to do the math. All right, something my brain. I'm gonna write it off to forty, but no, yeah, no, I don't round out. I, I only pay exactly what it costs, no. and I tell the lady, "Look, here's the math," and she fucking charges it what I say all the time. You know, don't fuck okay. me, and you don't be careful in Walmart; they overcharge you, those sons of bitches. 
right? That's why I never well, go to Walmart. What is on the tag is not what rings up. And so you got to show them the tag. I got to do it all the time. Kike. Oh my God. Anyways. You're a terrible fucking customer. Anyways. No, fuck you. Kike. Yeah. Fuck you. Yeah, I, I, I know. You're, 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 you're going to steal my money. Joe Biden already steals my money to pay for $10,000 of colleges for motherfuckers who think they're better than me. And shit, living in your right, mom's maze basement, making YouTube videos, you pussy. Go to Walmart and fucking like, hey, my fake cheese is fucking like so fucking expensive. Hey, hey, you're fucking me up. <laughs> Walmart, put yeah. out, put out. Uh -huh. For $37, you can buy these woke ass fuck toys of Wakanda forever. Yeah. And it's cheery with their fucking kid and play, fucking hair mullet, fucking square top and shit. And it's fucking Mexican Neymar. Who cannot speak a word of English to fucking God save his life. And then we yeah. get Riri Williams, the brand new Iron Man, looking like a goddamn Power Ranger. Yeah. But the, look, I'm going to be honest with you. The toy, right. the toy looks like a Power Ranger. I zoomed in on the actual image on the box. And that yeah. looks <laughs> more like something like the same design out of anime. Or something. I don't know. It doesn't look like Iron Man. That's all I'm going to say. Okay. Iron Man looked like a person was wearing... <laughs> does that look like a little girl? The little girl... If, if a little girl is inside of that, her neck is broken and her arms you are twisted uh, yeah, and shit. Of course. That's all that. I'm going to sure. say. Yeah, like, of course. If that's how it looks in the movie, it's not believable because that little girl would be dead. Like that's yeah, a that's or, a robot. There's no one inside of that. There's no one inside of that. Or maybe her eyes are on her boobs. She's like, oh my god, I have boob fucking eyes. All right, Kike, this is an like actual her. little girl. Let's not try to make this perverted, all right? Dominic Thor and his little... She knows he's going to grow, grow fucking boobs. Come on, man. She's like, oh my god, Here I have go. boob oh you. Oh my god, everybody, everybody, y'all yeah, better call this bullshit out. That's all oh I'm saying. God. Anyways, what do you think? Like, do you like... This is this is her final form. This is Wakanda making this is her Iron Man. This cheap-ass fucking, like, toy from Walmart, bro. Kids don't understand the fucking physiques. The and actual fucking, like, image on the carton of the box yeah. is what it's yeah, going to yeah, look yeah. like in the image. I'm asking, what do you think of that specifically? What it's going to look like in the movie. It's showing you right then and there what it's going to look like in the movie. It looks like a robot, and it doesn't look like a person is in that. Thing. It's perspective. You see, like, when I do this, and you go back ah, over there, you look tinier and shit. It's we perspective. Go. Standing it's up. Pers all right. Well, then, I'll ask you another question. Let me show you what right, it, right. the two versions of yeah. the suit from the comic right. books. The red one is the first mm -hmm. iteration, and then the pink, black, and gray one is after she after she makes her own suit after Tony Stark helps her. That's her iteration. Oh, uh, yeah. Do you think I see it as a combination of both? But I just think it still doesn't look look. If you were going to say no. this is the next Iron Man. It doesn't Man. look like any, no. Look, if you were going to tell me this is the next Iron Man, right? And you yeah. show me the image on the far right. Mm -hmm. I would say, well, that's not Iron Man. That's just a robot. It looks like a kaiju. Um, not a kaiju, but like one of those fucking like Japanese fucking like. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. You know? yeah. A mecha, a mecha. A mecha, yeah, there you go. It doesn't look like. Iron Man. And if you're supposed mm -hmm. to be the next Iron Man, I think... Well, she's an Iron Woman. At the very least, you should look like Iron Man. That's all I'm saying. Fucking stupid. And, and here's the thing that drives me even crazier. We already yeah. know that the first version of the suit, she makes out of car parts, and it's like an exoskeleton, which we're seeing yeah. right here. So... If the second version of the suit is this fucking anime mecha looking thing, then why does the show they're filming right now is a totally different suit, Kike? Why? I don't know, man. What is going Cause, on, Marvel? Because, look, man, at the end of the fucking day, Walmart always makes fucking choices with fucking China, and China always makes different fucking little different figures. But they have this fucking, like, you know, thing that they, oh, I have the license. And they do this cheap fucking toys 
for that exactly. So they can fucking sell them to kids. So it's probably a fucking why remake we, of a fucking figure. Why are we getting you know? a junky looking one for the show if the show takes place after Wakanda Forever? And in Wakanda Forever, she's getting the badass looking anime one. Like I said, it's a fucking license fucking problem that they didn't fucking actually fucking understand between each other is miscommunication. They're like, we're giving you the we're we're faxing you the fucking like images of the new model. You better have them ready. And they're uh, fucking up. They're like, oh, that that looks like that. Let's do that. Oh yeah, let's do it. Fuck it. They're fucking idiots. And and hey, Gomer and Indy, I agree with you guys. Ah, oh, cheers. You better believe in Jesus, motherfuckers are going to hell. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> cheers. Not political, not religious, but okay. <laughs> you better cheers when we say yeah. cheers. It doesn't matter what comes out of I my don't mouth. Have a beer with me. Oh, I don't have a beer. Hey, we caught him. We caught him. You better get a beer, you lame ass <laughs> motherfucker. Get a beer right I now. I don't have a beer right now, dude. Hold on. Here he goes. Here he goes. You caught him all this time <laughs> sipping out of his cup. He's not been no, drinking. No, I was waiting for you to make a break, and you never did one. No, we've been here for what? Because no, yes. But we're gonna finish this. We're almost exactly. done, Kiki. If I'm holding exactly. it, so you can. I've been can. fucking like drinking way more than you. Okay. Here we go. You want me to show all you right. all the cans I have? Oh my god! You want to really fucking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you really want to do? Cans I fucking empty cans, motherfucker. That bullshit, you pussy. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, yeah. That's like the same amount as me, you pussy. We're the same. We're the same. No, yeah. I'm picking another batch. Now, that's because you're a dirty as fuck and you haven't cleaned up your room. No, exactly. I pussy. have a big can over here, bitch. I, I'm, 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 neither, I'm OCD. Everything's clean around here. Everything's spotless. Yeah, I fucking oh, shaved yeah. the shit out of my dog. There ain't no hair in this place. Anyways, we're moving on. Yeah. <laughs> fuck yeah. you. I had, him, I had him fucking neutered. He didn't have balls. We're moving on exactly. again to the Wolkery that everybody's been waiting for, especially Indy Phantom and Gomer. These motherfuckers yeah. are woke as fuck, and they've been waiting for this all week. I know they have, those motherfuckers. <laughs> She-Hulk episode two review. Right. Uh, I'm not going to, I mean, I was, I was drunk and I have a different job where I got to fucking do shit, so I didn't put shit from the second episode, Ooh. but I just have the trailer. But we're going to talk about the episode, TK. And I'll just yeah. straight out shoot you from the beginning. Everyone on the internet, and I don't have the image, and I don't give a fuck. Maybe, uh. I'll, maybe I'll put it if I make a short video. I might put it right now. Just suddenly. But if I don't, it's all right. I don't give a fuck about any of y'all. Uh, but here we go. Uh, they had this Easter egg, TK, where she's looking at yep. the computer screen. And yep. in the computer screen, it says a man fights in a bar with claws. And then at the bottom, there was another story that says, why is there a giant statue of a hand and a face coming out of the ocean and shit? And so that is Marvel's way of saying, fuck you, we haven't casted Wolverine, and fuck you, we don't have an explanation as to why no one has seen a hand and a fucking shit sticking out of the ground because of Eternals and shit. Because we don't know if it's part of the timeline. I know, I know. And I know. it fucking pissed me off. Because I was just, yeah. everyone's excited. Oh, oh, no, fuck you. Until I see Wolverine in, actually, in the screen. He's not in the MCU. Fuck you putting an article about a man fighting with metal oh, claws. Oh, so you're getting offended that you're getting hints that it's coming out. No, but yeah. But we don't have any information. Yes, I'm getting offended. This bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. Um, I don't know, man. I mean... I never paid attention to those little fucking like facts. I was looking at the actual fucking like jokes and the dialogue and all that shit. It was funny, dude, and and it was intriguing. Yes, yes, yes. It's a fucking show about a, her being a lawyer, not a fucking like, you know, like a fucking comic book superhero, bro. It's about her being a fucking lawyer, and sometimes a girl. she being a girl and shit. Yeah, dude. And I it's like, a girl. Yeah, I like it. I feel the same way. 
yeah, I've been fired from my job, and every time I go to interviews, like in this episode, she went to interviews, and motherfuckers were all yeah. like, no, you, we can't hire you. You're fucking brown. Your hair's too long and shit. You don't want to shave. Well, fuck you, you white son of a bitch. I oh, felt wow. like, I just felt just like her, Kike. I just, like, I'm the she ho You said, I love this okay. episode and everything. Kike, this is good. You turn it into your fucking self, bro. <laughs> Anyways, this is like a Malakan. I'm 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 the She Hulk. Hashtag I'm the She Hulk, fellas. Oh yeah. It's all gonna say. Take it out. I'm gonna get copywritten. You son of a bitch. No, 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 no. It's not gonna get that. Are we better? Anyways. Uh. Hey. We also. So, did you like it or no? I'm telling you, I did like it. Now, okay, I'm going to tell good. you, Lana, be, before everyone starts calling me a, when a motherfucker like I always do, let me just let me finish telling you what I thought. They, <laughs> okay. Like I said, the, mm. the fucking spoilers that fucking uh, we talked about months ago are going to be true. Yeah. Because the Hulk is on his way in a spaceship to Sakaar. Yeah. To stop, just like the spoiler says, to stop his son. From destroying that fucking planet and shit. Because when he was Scar, the Hulk, right? What's his name? His name is Scar. Yes. Scar, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. yeah. when he was the Hulk in in yeah. in, in uh Thor Ragnarok. Yeah. When he was yeah. the Hulk for two years, the Hulk fuck bitches. And he didn't pull out because he's a badass. He's a badass. And one of those no, bitches it wasn't me. No, it no. Was Hulk. Yeah, one of those was. bitches was ovulating. And uh and he fucked her. Uh and so when he Fucking got her pregnant, Kike. That's what happens when a bitch yeah. is ovulating and you come inside of her. Uh, I've been to college, I know. Well, I mean, as long as you know, I'm just trying to just trying to school you, Mo. That's why I'm not married, my friend. Yeah, good, okay. good, good, good. Me, me, me. I don't have any fucking like. Hey, cheers to that, Kike. <laughs> hey, cheers, cheers, cheers. You enjoy yourself a little bit more, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Go to Ohio and then go to Egypt. It's badass. Anyways, uh, to New York yeah, yeah, yeah. in uh, Toronto. Fuck you, you can't. Try to be better than me. Try to tell me you've been whiter state than to I am. Egypt. You're clearly better than me, you ass. You want to be whiter than me? You bitch. What the fuck? Is okay, fine. We're well, moving on. Dude. Okay. This show. We're just being belligerent, okay? Are you done? So we can finish talking I about this done, Marvel actually. wokery and move on to some badass shit for these woke ass <laughs> motherfuckers. All right. All right. All right. For you, for you, for motherfucker. All right. All right. Again. She Hulk. I want a fuck beater. Are you done? All right. She yeah. Hulk. They made some cool jokes about like Bruce Banner saying like when they mentioned about the abomination on the phone with that bitch oh, yeah. when his cousin. Yeah. And he was all like, "Yeah, um, I was a different person back then." Literally. I was a person back then. Literally, yeah. he says literally yeah. because it was Edward Norton. And I like these motherfuckers. Yeah. That's all I said. I was like, these motherfuckers. <laughs> like, I'm just saying, look, look, I'm not gonna lie to you. He can't. This movie is Ali this none that movie. Show. This movie this show is Ali McBeal. This movie is for <laughs> but superheroes. This movie is for women. Yeah. But yeah. at the same time, I mean I I I find it funny. But it's woke it funny. as fuck. And I and I said it. I said I don't it. Know what the is no, part is, no, no. Okay. The fact that it's for women—that's woke as fuck, Kike. That's what really you woke. That's what the culture we're is. Watching it. We're not women, exactly, Kike. Because we're, we're you're, I'm turning you woke. You're almost there. Oh, yeah, yeah, Kike. Don't worry, we're Kike. Don't worry. You're there. You're almost there, Kike. I got you. Right. Got you. Proceed right. with your yeah, fucking. Yeah, yeah. I said it months ago, Kike. I said it. Yeah. I don't think people realize. And I think it's going to get a lot of negative reviews and it's been getting negative reviews. But I said it and I said it months ago. I don't think people realize that this show is going to be for women. This is not for fucking woke ass fuck motherfuckers who over here don't give a fuck race in the 90s. Listen to Alice in Chains and all you motherfuckers smoke weed and drink all goddamn day and shit. You know what this like, this is not for us. No, no. This is for women. You know, it I don't is. understand it's that part, She-Hulk. This is, and you yeah. know what? 
and it's sprinkled with some side because yeah. nowadays women like fucking shit like this. There wasn't nerd women back in the day. There wasn't women that like Power Rangers and shit and a half. Like there was, they were just too little, and you didn't talk to them, and you were too shy. To exactly, talk to them. Exactly because you didn't like you didn't like you didn't like pussies. You only like dick back then, but it's okay, Kiki. Okay. Not you dick. like dick. Hey, Kiki, okay. don't worry about it. All right, every day. Right, anyways, Kiki, you're fucking me over. The point is, okay, that She Hulk I mean, people didn't realize that She Hulk is made for women. That's all I'm saying, and okay. I, and I don't think it's a bad show. It's not a bad show. I like it. I enjoy it. It's it's a fucking it's a fucking show, guys. Fuck. Like, let's not. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's pretty funny. Like, I don't know, man. If you don't like it, it's okay, bro. But I mean, I like it. It's pretty funny. Yeah, don't worry, guys. I told you by twenty thirty, this motherfucker to be the wokest guy on earth. Oh yeah. Oh, I like this. I like it, and I can't wait to see where it goes. Like, it's not the series. This is like Deadpool for women. It's a fucking it's Deadpool show, for bro. women. Like, That's it. the way I see it. It's just a fucking show. Come it's, the fuck down. It's funny enough. I think it's entertaining yeah. enough where I can at least. And you know what? It's not long enough. It's only thirty minutes or twenty-five minutes at the most. And if you read the comic books back, so then, it's so it's over right when it away. Came out in the eighties. She always broke up the fucking fourth ah. wall. And she was always making fun of the fucking, like, she was uh. in a comic book and shit like that, you know? Hey, go marry Nindy. I'm just going to say, motherfuckers. Uh, this is actually some really good weed. Uh, I don't know where I left my jar. It's far away. But yes, it got to me. But it doesn't matter, motherfuckers. We respect you, sons of bitches. And you can give them some life advice. Take home for the evening. Um, smoke some fucking weed, man. We all are. Yeah. yeah. Isn't that a good advice? It always is. Hey, hey, I, I'm gonna cheers to that. 